a little bit and then we'll, we'll do our introduction. Let me turn up Spark a little bit. Volume Mixer. Spark could do with being a little bit louder. Tell me one more line. Oh wait, no. Spark is fine. <laughs> I just had the volume down from this because I was streaming a different game. Anyway, I think we're live now. Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome back to Flutterbug. <laughs> and I've got Biss here again today for some more Spark the Electric Jester. DID YOU KNOW GAME THEORY?! <laughs> SANS UNDERTALE IS SANS UNDER ASS! <laughs> you see, SANS is SNASS backwards, and also, SANS has two legs, or at least, he has calves! We don't know about the thighs, they're underneath the shorts, but one can assume. Cause you see, Snass has the thighs, so if Sans didn't, it'd ruin my entire theory. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had that in my head for the last five minutes. like how somebody said, oh, I missed it, even though I posted it like <laughs> minutes ago. I was Obviously I you didn't. Him saying... <laughs> I know, I saw it like, what, you think we streamed for like three minutes and then stopped? <laughs> Oh, it's, 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 it's down. <laughs> oh, 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 they feel bad about themselves now. Oh, oh. No, poor baby. No, it's okay. We all do a silly <laughs> It's okay. All right, let's switch over to the game. I've seen enough of my nice, uh, new banner. Where's Spark? Spark electric What's chest. <laughs> Wait, where's the others? Hey, Ash. Where's the others? There's no one other than Gaze here. Oh no, I'm sorry, Ash. Hug, 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 if that's okay. Hug, hug, You're very hug. valid. Ash is like the most valid fucker right now. <laughs> well, you gotta say it like that, though. Okay, Ash is the most valid... spum Venus, I know. <laughs> See, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> that just reminds me of that person I found again who I was complaining about. Uh, ooh. No, it's not spum beans. Spum beans is disgusting. It's spumbinus. It's like creenus, but with spum bean. <laughs> Fucker is general neutral. Gender neutral. General neutral. Yeah, see, I'm alone in the house, so I can say things that I usually can't on stream. <laughs> you know what? I feel like dumbass is also gender neutral. I don't always mind being called that. <laughs> what that word always it makes me think <laughs> of is uh, when I was little, there was this like animation, like a flash animation mm. called Dumbass Mario. And I'd never oh, seen that word God. before, so when I was little, I thought it was Dumbass Mario. Oh, I hate it, it's bad. I, the, the cartoon's a load of fucking garbage! Not good enough to wipe like, your fucking ass on! And then I was like telling my dad about it, and he was like, it's called what now? <laughs> I was like, dumb bass Mario. And they like bleep Elena. him out when he like says a swear word in it or something. Elena. He's like, they do what? Elena. What? I have some bad news to tell you. What? It's very important. Did you know that there's queer baiting in the new Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> Excuse me? This queer baiting. Thomas in the, the new Tank Thomas Engine of all things? Yeah, because like in an interview they were like, "Yeah, we've got we've got an in this new episode we've got an autistic character and a gender fluid character." And do you want them? You do you want know what they meant by gender fluid character? What? A woman who has who go who does voices, and uh -huh. some of them are a bit gruff. <laughs> That's it. Like, there's no in episode confirmation of anything to do with gender identity. <laughs> Oh. It's just this character sometimes does a golem from fucking Lord of the Rings impression, and sometimes <laughs> speaks Scottish, and sometimes sounds American or French. They literally swap accents. That's not fucking gender accent fluid. Accent is your your accent is your gender apparently. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that just reminds me of one of my new favorite Vine Sauce corruptions. He was playing, uh, I think it was like a Sims like pets game on the DS. And uh, it got corrupted so that when you make your character, the genders you can choose from were female and cash register. <laughs> 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 that was 
new one of my new favorite corruptions. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not willing to fuck a metal tray full of dollar bills, you might be a lesbian. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck, this then... is a really good stage with a lava bubble. Yeah, it's interesting. Your butt's really interesting. Like how duplicates of it just appear everywhere, like between <laughs> the sofa cushions. Yeah, I was just reminded of when Ash was saying that he was valid. Just remind me of that person I remembered about last night that I like found. Who was saying who didn't like the uwu valid or whatever. People, okay, okay, okay. The shit they were saying was so annoying, right? Because like they were saying, mm -hmm. "Wow, you, you, you keep saying I'm valid as a trans person, but that doesn't get me HRT." That's literally like saying, "Like, I'm, okay, I'm sorry to make the comparison, but that's like saying." All I like these. That's oh, like, oh um, hold on. Uh, I like these little inverted loops. By the way, those are cool too. Oh, those are. Where you go around the outside of Sonic. it. Those are actually possible in Sonic. They should never do them, except for like one level in <laughs> Sonic Adventure. Which makes no sense, because in Sonic Adventure, the loops are artificial anyway, so I don't know why they have it there, and not in <laughs> the games where the mechanics actually support it. But anyway, one second, anyway, what was what I saying? saying? <clears throat> um, you were saying complaining saying, about it was like... It was like, it's like, imagine if somebody said, all people deserve rights, and somebody said, mm, but you saying that doesn't give them rights. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when people say trans people are valid, what they mean is, is that they're valid, and the go and government should respect that. Not they're valid, and governments already do. You wouldn't be <laughs> saying it if it wasn't something that had to be said. I think they know? were saying like it doesn't matter if you tell me I'm valid <laughs> because the government doesn't think I'm valid or whatever. But like the fact say, that you're they were like you saying it makes like does less to make me feel valid <laughs> was the other thing. So it was like hmm. some people. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that thing you just said. I think you're incredibly valid. Oh. <laughs> you're fucking infinitesimally Ash valid. valid. Ash, fuck. Also, I think you're. See I think you are seeing the uh, the messages before I am, because like you respond, you've responded to Ash like before the message has even <laughs> shown up. <laughs> well, you see, the thing here is Elena. You mm -hmm. see, the thing here is, is that I have ultra instinct, so I don't even have to think of my response. It just, the <laughs> message appears, and I've already. Responded. You have a psychic. You have a psychic link to the chat, and so you just, oh, just instantly you just know it's like beamed into your brain. Or it might just specifically be Ash. It's like our two shit poster brains are just like are able to communicate. Yes. Well, I'm hey, getting a lot of Ash. controller vibration here. I could do. Uh, Something interesting with the controller at the moment, if I wanted to. Hey Ash, how would you feel if I said, "Wow"? You see how much the screen is shaking right now? That's how much the controller mm -hmm. is also shaking. <laughs> okay, let's stop. <laughs> I share a quarter of the brain cell I share with Kyle and Biff. <laughs> Where this really going hard with this gravity stuff. Also, I'm sure I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Ash some context. Whisper. <clears throat> I need everybody Whoa. to know about the joys of shoot of the magic fucking thick train going. Oh yeah, guy. Whoa, whoa! Look at this. Look at this background. Ooh. This oh. Oh yeah, nice. Car Caria Valley. Oh my god, yes, this is like one of the best ones in the game. Ah! This is real nice. I like the design of the trees. Like this, the orbs. <laughs> the tree oh my, orbs. Oh my. The twerbs. Oh, I love this fucking one. Why is this game is like so beautiful? This <laughs> game is like the best looking game I've played in fucking years. But everybody's there like, mm, Super Monkey Ball sequel. Mm. I think my oh, favorite so looking game at the moment is the, uh, uh, the Spyro remake. Been really enjoying looking at that. In fact, I enjoy. I think I enjoy this and the Spyro remake about the same. Hey Ash, can I confess something to you? Um. Okay. So, I make. I'm a game dev, right? Yeah. 
The second I found out how to make a 360 controller vibrate, I made an application that just does that. It just immediately <laughs> makes the 360 controller go wild. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know what I'm using this for. <laughs> In fact, well, I've tried that before, and with like the Joy-Cons too, because Nintendo Labo has a way where you can just, <laughs> just make it vibrate continuously. And oh, in my experience, nice. it doesn't even work very well. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it doesn't I'm reach sorry. the levels. Oh, here's like, here's just Kirby. You're Star Kirby. Rod. Kirby. The stud. This is a very Kirby's looking location, <laughs> so it makes sense. I fucking love this game, Elena. You know, come on, hit it. Come, it's beautiful. <laughs> It's so good! It's like just such a fucking good game. It's just a combination of so many things I like. And also like there's so much love that's going to it and passion. And it's so well thought out in so many places. I just embody so many like what I love in like a very specific type of type of game. It's very mm -hmm. much just like a big it's it's like <clears throat> gone. I just realized anybody who's not used to be talking about things like that is going to be so confused if they start talking about controller vibration. <laughs> You're gonna be like, he's <laughs> talking about what now? I can't believe Elena. <laughs> Do you, did you see the way you go through a loop if you're charging? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> With this that's ability amazing. specifically, yeah. I think I think that's kind of funny, and I like it. That's the thing with this game I like, is that like... This I is see, the well, kind It's just because when this, with this ability, when you're charging, <laughs> he just stands still. As he moved. Mm. As well as he charged, like he, he, yeah. he, he, he not go over there. <laughs> he go nowhere. There are two types of game, right? Mm -hmm. um, there are games which would... There are games where you would never have something like that happen. But there's like half as much going on, right? Mm -hmm. And there's games like this, which I love because it's made by one person. But it has like a load of levels and enemy types and a load of mechanics. Uh, a lot of great fucking art assets. It's this big, beautiful adventure. I think it's just because it's like, like it's like magical, so it's like he's like hovering. Yeah. Seems like. Also, it's also it's kind of whimsical. So doing that kind. Because even if you right. move normally, he doesn't really like move his feet. This ability. Mm. <laughs> Ash. <laughs> That's just referencing a video I sent him earlier. <laughs> I don't think I sent it to you, Bis. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Go to the bathroom and take a shit. Wait, is it was it a Tamagotchi related video or was no. it just somebody shitting? It was it was somebody recorded like somebody was playing <laughs> an online game. It looked like it was uh Grand oh, Theft no, Auto I online. It. it looked like it was Grand Theft Auto online and then some somebody on the other end. You can just hear his mom yelling at him, like, go to the bathroom and take a shit! He's like, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> He's like, you shit in pants, I can smell it. And I was like, just imagine you're playing a game online and you just hear that on the other end. Like, how do you react? <laughs> Apparently you react by recording it. Elena, I just watched that. Yes. <laughs> it's about what? the most ridiculous just... thing I've ever seen. Just go fucking shit! <laughs> oh god, you can hear it slurp out that fucking <laughs> Somebody in the comments said that. It's like, at 15 seconds, I can hear it happening. You know what? The video was you titled as if, like, the mom was the weird one, but people were like, no, it's the kid who's who's the weird one. <laughs> Here's the thing, right, okay, is, you know those <laughs> videos that are like, these videos that are like, I sh my daughter dyed her hair without asking, so I shaved it off and stuff like that, right? Yeah. I am the sort of person who will look at something, or like, well, there's videos that's like, I destroyed my son's video games because he plays them or something like that, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I tend to look at those videos and immediately I'm like, okay, let's fucking definger, detoe, and skin the parents. 
so they can learn the true meaning of fear before they die. But in this situation, the parent's entirely right. Yeah. Like, that kid, that kid probably shouldn't be allowed Grand Theft Auto if they just sit there fucking just oozing shit. <laughs> People were saying, like, the mom sounded like, like... Sounded like she was, like, like, usually, like, a reasonable person. Yeah. And then was, like, just, like, pushed to the edge. <laughs> God. Oh god! Oh god! What if it? What if this is like? Yeah, push the edge scares me because it implies that this other thing she's had to put up with this week of equal magnitude. Oh no! <laughs> like this isn't the first time this has happened. Oh no! <laughs> Why would somebody? Oh my god! Can somebody cork that fucking fetid fucking chocolate fondue hole of theirs? This is disgusting. <laughs> just the kid's voice. Disgusting. Is just disgusting. Just like no. I don't want to yet. I want to see. I want to. I want to see the little Scottish kids who didn't flush the toilet have a fight with this person who just <laughs> stop dashing downhill. <laughs> Elaine, if I see you dash downhill one more time, right, one more time, I'm gonna find the person who shat themselves playing Mafia Three and set them up on a blind date with you. <laughs> Apparently, the game was Mafia Three. Oh, that's why Mafia Three comes up in the when you search for that. Oh yeah, Ash, you can totally just hear the fucking the fucking cheap mashed potato fucking consistency. <laughs> oh, no, I Shit. Heard it. <laughs> I found that because because I... <laughs> Vinny keeps playing that and like people say we need to take somebody needs to take that away from you, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody needs to take having a butthole <laughs> away from that kid. Because like there was a corruption in Super Mario 64 DS where Mario was like walking around like he had like, you know, like he'd taken a dump uh, in his pants and then he pl no. like Mario's walking around like he just and then played that clip and then somebody was like somebody needs to take that away from you, Vinny. <laughs> I hate this. This is awful. Okay, you know what? Yo, here's the thing, right? Okay, is usually I like turn away from like fucking t oh my fucking god oh my fucking god it's a choo choo train it's a train as soon as i heard you freaking out i knew it was talking about the train Train. i fucking love trains and more games need trains than elena does super climb have a train in it oh sorry go eat a butt does fucking i could put a train in my castlevania game please put a train in there also, let me design the train. Also, <laughs> let me kiss the train. Also, there was a, there was a the train, train. There was like a train in uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Oh my god, Elena, I'm gonna shit. I just come up with an idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, um. You know, okay, so everybody. All Castlevania fans always joke about the one enemy in one of the games that's just a skeleton riding a motorcycle, right? What mm -hmm. if. It was just a bone train. It was a train made <laughs> of bones. And it's piloted by like was 27 it? off brand Sans Undertales. Wasn't there something like that in Cuphead? <laughs> there was like an I evil train. Cuphead? There was like a ghost train in Cuphead. Well, there's a ghost train in your butt. <laughs> Besides one, let's tell you that. It's just the case. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. It's not just a sketch. No, 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 no. We are, okay, you know, I've decided. I've, I've made the executive decision we're going to stop talking about this. Anyway, the Spark Electric Gesture <laughs> is a fantastic game. And far better than the things we're talking about oh, over yeah. it. Um, I really like the visual design of every area, but especially this yes. one. I like how they have like a fictitious no, been... flag for this area. It's really nice. We've ended up um, talking about poop over this game. No, okay, so yeah. <laughs> this is a nice I think also Gravity Jester. Multiple directions is like a really this is interesting. He loves this gravity thing, doesn't he? The developer of this. Whoa. Why? Why does he love it? I don't know, but he seems to. Why? Oh, oh you just mean gravity as a concept, yes. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. This now is you like can a just, fun You power. can just fly. <laughs> oh yeah, you can fly I like, now. I like how calm Spark looks with his power, because he's like... I yeah, I can fly, fly now. I could just, if, if something attacks me, I could just float upwards like fucking Poochie and Scooby-Doo. No, I mean The Simpsons. In The Simpsons. No Nitchy and Scratchy in The Simpsons. Poochie's not from Scooby-Doo. about Poochie I'm sorry. from Yoshi? You don't like okay, that Poochie. That I'm gonna rip the lips off that worthless fucking animal. Please. 
Not on my stream. <laughs> wait, wait, so when we discuss fucking, like, that other thing, that's fine. When we yeah. discuss killing a cartoon dog, suddenly that's too far. Yeah. It's not even a dog, it's just a, f an, a it's like, it's it's a chain chomps for I like that weird thing, that weird tower in the background, it keeps doing a thing. Alina, if I said I was going to kill a chain chomp, you wouldn't have cared, right? You kill hundreds of them all the time. <laughs> um, but then suddenly Poochie is the exact same thing, basically. Yeah, but it's not that Except graphic. Lips. Okay, okay, I will jump on Poochie and he will evaporate into smoke. Then he'll be back later, though. No, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, okay, I'm gonna canonic... Okay, what? Well, okay. Anyway. I like that you can see the tower doing the thing, like, through the background. Like, it never stops. There was something I was gonna say, what was it? Fuck. Oh, we're moving now. Oh yeah, you're on a train now. We're moving now, everybody. Well, that was easy. There was something I was gonna say about fucking Poochie, but I forgot. That was really easy. Did you see how I beat that boss? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Gravity's it's because it got. Oh, because it got lasered. It gets hurt by the laser oh, too. Yeah. It got lased. Hey, and it was really easy can because can because of gravity. Here? I didn't have to get touched by it. What? Um, do you remember that tweet where, like, um, Nintendo makes a tweet that's like, Poochie has puppies now and you can collect them in Yoshi's Crafted World, and somebody's uh -huh. like, I can't believe Poochie fucked before I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could you <laughs> Although, I don't know, it's the Mario world, so Poochie probably just shat out some eggs. And, like, or they just came into thing. existence. No, I'm pretty There's sure no Poochie shat out an egg. <laughs> the egg was twice as big as Poochie was, but it hatched A into dog egg. egg. <laughs> yeah, well... The, b b b okay, here's a question, Elena, right? Mm -hmm. Do eggs often contain the last thing you've eaten? Uh... No. Eggs in the Mario universe are just weird. In fact, sometimes Yoshi will eat ten apples and then lay an egg which hatches into a mushroom. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, I like, Yoshi Yoshi isn't, like, born from the egg that he comes out of. Apparently, like, the lore is that he's trapped in those eggs. Like, he gets, like, locked Ma in them by Bowser or, like, Kamek. Does that then... mean that Matt does... Okay, can I ask you a question? What? Does that mean that Bowser vored Yoshi and then shat him out as an egg? Because <laughs> that's what Yoshi well, does I know, to people. I know in Smash Mario Galaxy 2, at least, it's Kamek that, like, magically put him into the egg. Just in like, Galaxy 2? Yeah, just like formed an egg around Yoshi, magically. So does that mean Kamek vored Yoshi and shut him out in an egg? No, he like waved <laughs> his magic wand and an egg appeared around Yoshi. Okay, so he waved his magic wand around Yoshi to put ketchup on him and then vored him and shut no. him out in an egg. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Wait, this really makes the I'm game so easy, doesn't it? You don't like the way I say vore? Why don't you like the way I say, way I say vor, Ash? Would you prefer I say vor? I don't, would you prefer I say vor? I don't know. <laughs> That's my attempt at American. Let me try and do American. Water. What are those people? Hello. I'm American. It's people. Water. What did you do? Vor. Still out there, just unmanned drones. In other words, they're just like me. The military train, huh? Time they started doing something. Don't bother. They are useless. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Can't let you do that. Be a moron. Just try me. What? I'll be a moron I if I want to be. I practiced my American accent so that I could talk to Siri back when Siri wasn't very good at, like, listening to anybody over than people from fucking Chicago or wherever this voice is from. So then I started doing this voice every time I did, like, a Google search on Siri. But the problem is, is that then eventually, <laughs> everybody around me was like, Biss, what the fuck are you doing? So I was like, yeah, I guess I should probably stop being American now. But it's a shame, because I can say things like, Oh yeah, this is happening, and I want a <laughs> cup of water. <laughs> Boy, Hello, like a snake. I'm Ash. Oh, Hello, that was, that was I'm Ash. Delicious me. I make shit posts. 
And I also laugh at Tamagotchi shitting. <laughs> okay, at, at the end I devolved into fucking like... What's it oh hey, this chills? is the thing that's in the background of... Just for, for the game's page. Oh! Screenshot of this. Yeah. Also, can I just... It looks like Gur. It looks like Gur like from Invader Zim. <laughs> You do know that every single robot in the game has that exact face, right? Or like nearly the same face. Oh. I mean, this like, one has the particular around. colors of of Gur. Oh, that's fair. I've I, I haven't seen that trash show in a long time. <laughs> okay, it's not actually bad. I mostly just I just most. Can I give you a pro, pro tip? Wait, no, Elena, stop! Elena, stop! Elena, stop! What? You were already in the room. Okay, gravity is like the worst combat ability, but it's alright, you have sword, you'll be fine. Yeah. But, but yeah, gravity is I figured that out earlier. Last yeah. time I did this, I figured out I didn't want gravity for this. I like when this boss stand on a potato. No, a tomato. Fuck, I forgot my vega to veg the fruitables. Let's look. Er, uh, never mind. Yeah, he looks a lot like Gur. <laughs> Your butt looks a lot like Gur. <laughs> oh. I know better this time than to go up there. It was a little confusing because I thought like the little signs were like exactly where the thing was going to show up. Like, and I had to like stand in between them or something. I didn't realize that it was like denoting the top half of the screen was about to do the thing. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a mistake you've made like before. And I wonder if it's just like the 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 vi the games that you've played use like a different visual language for warning indicators and the one yeah. this and how this is doing it. Yeah. Because I am more. You, the, the, the... Elena. Mhm. Mm okay, so here's a thought process, right? Mhm. Mm okay, number one, I'd advise getting, I'd advise ditching gravity and getting another combat power to see if any of them are like. More well, I like this one. Like... <laughs> this okay, you have that. Also, when they're well, about to do the laser Lance. thing. Okay, when you're on, when Lance they're about has to do like the a laser lot of, thing. Like, range. Wait, there's there's Archer there. You like Archer, don't you? Yeah, but I don't really like it for combat either. Okay, that's experience. Fair. But heads up, right? Okay, it's like when not fast about... enough. <laughs> when they're in the laser phase, stay on the ground so you can dash if you have to. Remember, if you dash just before you get hit. It I know. Negates the damage I know. And... It's just that I don't have the timing down for that yet. Like when it like <laughs> telegraphs that it's about to attack, and then when it does, I'm like I that. not understanding the timing yet. Sorry, I'm like only half paying attention at any one moment, so I might be missing a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be. I wish I could make a game that was good like this. No, I think the other. I think that other ability was better for this, because it's like faster, so I avoid damage more, and it actually has a charge attack. Although, actually, this one I think is better for the second part because it goes up. Hmm. It has an up move. Oh, yeah, it does. That's what when I was thinking like, would be good. You throw, like, a slash of Cheeto dust upwards. We have a big bag of Cheetos in the house. At the moment. You have... You know what has a big bag this of makes Cheetos? This, make, this makes this really easy. I think I'll probably get through it this time. I believe in you, honey bun. Whoops. That was almost disaster. Might still be disaster. I, oh! I believe in you. Yeah, I got you it. You got this! You got it, you his butthole clean off! Overkill. <laughs> Aww. Their glasses broke. <laughs> you know what really annoys me? What? Okay, not so much this, but the questions it raises. There's a train in Thomas the Tank Engine who has glasses, and like, I'm tr and like the the lore implications of that are unexplored, and it irritates me. <laughs> the train can't see. Okay, you know what? Actually, I changed my mind. The law's pretty simple. Oh, good luck talking to your friend. Tell them about the wondrous thing you were just watching. <laughs> <laughs> I am, in fact, in the. I was gonna portmanteau that, but then it sounded pretty bad. Ooh. Never mind. 
something I something I was noticing. So I've been playing more Sonic Generations again since last time I played this, right? I remember yeah. how I was talking about how I like how the speed works in this better than I like it in Sonic yeah. usually. And I was noticing. Hmm. I realized something that this does that Sonic doesn't usually do is that there's sort of like it does it more like a roller coaster where there's like a build up. You know, where you start out slow, and then you go, woo, and then you speed up, and then you slow yeah. down again, and then you go, woo, whereas Sonic, it's kind of just all the same speed this, all the time. That's fair, yeah, it makes sense. I think that's and the so benefit of this game. you kind of get a better sense of the speed, you know, because you have to, like, yeah. build up to it, and then you get the little rush of, like, shoom, suddenly going real fast downhill. I think one of the benefits of the, uh, this game is that Sonic is tied to a brand of speed, whereas this game, speed's just a thing that's fun. <laughs> But it's one of many things that's fun. Yeah. I feel like, like a game that's all about... Like, like, you know, Sonic doesn't slow down when he goes around the loop. Like, at the top, mm. so that there's not, like, that sort of, like, excitement of, like, going back oh. down it real fast. In Sonic Generations, that's even worse, because in Generations, like... Basically, basically, in Generations, most of the time, either you're, like, boosting in mm -hmm. the modern formula, at which point you can't slow down as, under any circumstance anyway. Or you're in the classic style, and they literally put like a speed pad in front of every loop that just puts <laughs> you at like super fast speed anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I think also, that, like, I am noticing how much looser this game is than Sonic 2 because like, or especially because I've been doing the like the challenge stages yeah. that uh, require you to be very exact and like learn patterns and everything down really well. Mm. <laughs> I have to get very in tune with the game's mechanics and everything, whereas in this, I don't really have to as much. I like games loose. I like loop. I like games that are kind of a bit loose, like uh, and like you know. I don't like, have to become a master at the game to get through anything. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to become a master, that is like there are other like modes afterwards. But I think that's the best <laughs> way to do things, like optional challenge. But most players don't have to. Mm -hmm. Could you? Hmm. I wonder how hard it'd be to 100% spork the electric fork. <laughs> I think actually, I think the only thing you have to do to 100% it is just... It seems like it's one of those where you kind of just beat the game and then it's complete because it doesn't seem like it has a whole lot extra. Like, or I don't, like, it seems like it's extra modes don't count towards, like, your completion. They're just like, if you want to play the game again, here's another way to do it. Oh, I would distinctly say that. That's wrong. I would mm. distinctly say it's wrong. Also, check out this move I just discovered. <laughs> oh yeah, the hands at both sides. <laughs> the you hands press at both down sides, and that where happens. you make, you make like fucking um, b what's that flavor of bubble gum? What's the flavor <laughs> of bubble gum that's blue? I don't know. I don't know anything about bubble gum. Look, it's a hedgehog. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just. <laughs> oh my it's fucking god! Sonic. Okay. So notice that hedgehog does a spin dash, right? Yeah. This is relevant. You need to keep that in mind. Yeah, if you don't keep Sonic. that in mind... No, but there's more. Keep it in mind. <laughs> keep that fucking shit in mind. Keep that shit in your fucking mind hole. <laughs> My mind in hole. Beauty hole. You buzz what? You're not a buzz wall. Oh, if I if yeah. I had to say you were any ultra beast, I'd say you're the little little. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, uh, okay, I might be wrong. I'm gonna go for the little dragon that just uh, um secretes glue. I don't remember this one. You don't remember the one that secretes glue? Uh... You be adhesive, Poion. Oh, poi -po? why are you attacking the fan? You're poi -po. I didn't think of it as a dragon. That's what confused me. It was it's like a little bug type. thing. It's dragon type. Is it maybe it's dragon when it evolves? Because when okay, it, before it evolves, it's just poison. Oh, okay. So I think it evolves into poison dragon. It's purple. Purple. I like that because it just sounds like a funny way to say purple. Yeah, I was about to say. And it is purple, <laughs> but also it's like poi as in like poison. You know what else is purple? You. I was gonna say Waluigi's bum cheeks, but no, <laughs> not me. I don't me. think they are. Yeah, they are. Because <clears throat> what you gotta understand is that Waluigi isn't wearing a shirt. Most of his skin is just purple. Oh. 
Yeah, it's kind of like a Skeletor situation. Do you know Skeletor is like wearing just a loincloth most of the time? Yes. Yeah. You brought this up to me before, in fact, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up again. Do you know that Skeletor is like nearly naked? Like everybody's Can like, a skeleton oh, that's a blue be naked? Suit. He's not a skeleton though. He only has a skeleton head. The rest of him is just buff blue man. Oh. He's so buff. He's part of the blue man group. Elena, I swear to God, I'm gonna fucking take you. I'm gonna <laughs> hold you in my hand. I'm gonna hold you in my hand, and you'll look at me at me as if I'm a wrathful god because I am. And I'll get my <laughs> own hand, and I will playfully squish you between my hands and sort of rub them around so you get all scrunch or bumped. Wait, and then up there, what is it? Woo! You do the little rolly roll. Oh, that's just that one again. I don't need that. You do the little rolly roll and you punch a vole. And it's like, what? ow! <laughs> the sound of a vole being upset. It's just, ow! I like how both of us just like make up songs. What do you mean? Aww, we should start a band together. Um, I was doing I've that earlier thinking... while playing a story about my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? What? I've been thinking, right? I've been thinking of making a Thomas the Tank Engine tribute band because, listen, right? <laughs> the the style of music in that, but in that series, is like they have a very distinct style, right? Every uh -huh. single song has like a little. You were bit telling of me synth. about this yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you have synth, flutes, whistles, maracas, some kind of like very like 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 some kind of like loose drum, like the sort of drum where there isn't much oh, reverb. He's back. The hedgehog Actually, it might is be back. Symbols. Okay. Keep the hedgehog in mind. You have to. Is the hedgehog in your mind? Oh uh, well. Hedgehog killed me. Oh my fucking this god. This is hardcore train fandom, Ash says. I'm not. It, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, I almost tried to portmanteau it, but I was like, nah, it's not going to sound nice. <laughs> oh yeah, Biss, what did you think of a story about my uncle? From what you've seen of it so far? Nah, it's a fucking game. <laughs> like, like, Didn't like, do anything I like for how... you? It's like, it's supremely not my thing. Like, they have like, one fun mechanic. And like, they're just kind of trying to explore that. They're not really like, do it. Like, here's the thing, okay, is that my story of my- I like, an... I like the way it feels playing that game. Yeah, but I mean, the Attack on Titan fan game did the exact same thing better. <laughs> and that was like a free browser thing. My thing is, right, okay, he's like, look at this, look at this game, Spark the Legend Jester, right? Uh -huh. it, it it has its concept, and it goes as far oh. as possible. A story about my uncle is just like, do you like floating rocks and the one mechanic we made? Well, guess what, fuckhead. You're gonna keep doing well, that forever. It's not a very long game. Yeah, well, that's Seems my like thing. Seems like it's maybe about three hours at most. I'll probably get like another hour of streaming from it. I would have just liked some more environment variety, or I would have liked, you know, maybe some like e interesting extra takes on the swinging, or other things <laughs> to do. Or I'd have liked an inch. Or like the story just kind of like. I don't think I don't that know, was the, the point of the game. <laughs> yeah, well, the point is right. Okay, is like his thing, right? Okay, is I'm not saying what they should have done. I'm saying the fact that they made the game they wanted to make. It just isn't a game I want, you know? <laughs> that's okay. They don't have to make a game for I me. I thought it felt really unique, actually, <laughs> the movement in it. No, but there's like, a, there's like other games that do as well, like the Attack on Titan fan game, um, and Spodinusman, <laughs> and, and Bionic Ouch. Commandinus. And I made a game with like something vaguely sort of approximately similar, kind of, maybe, if you squint and fire at the same time. I don't know, I thought the platforming felt really unique. <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know. As I play a like, lot of platformers, so... <laughs> I don't know, I'm probably being like too cynical, Like, but my thing is just like... Here's the thing, right, okay, is games like Immediately that... Immediately I, I played like, and I was I, like, ooh, this feels really nice. <laughs> games like this can like here's the thing is i feel like on paper a lot of that i do i would like right mm -hmm. like i think i like that platforming mechanic it feels like it feels like a portal gun something that just like inherently yeah. has potential um Ouch. i think the different i think the difference between that this game and portal one. though i think the difference between that game and portal for me is like i like a kooky science place 
I don't like a cave full of blue people and the story about your uncle. <laughs> I think that's the main thing, is I just don't like this cave, and I don't like this guy's uncle. Because it's, it's a very, like, it's not a very fun flavor for me. It's like a very earthy flavor, whereas Portal was kind of like... Oh, I like Portal that. Was, Portal was like sweet licorice. There was a bit of bitterness, but it was also very sweet, and there was like cute little sentry guns, and there was a lot of <laughs> funny little things, a little bit of flavor to it. Whereas well, I was also uncle, like a much bigger... The studio made that game. <laughs> no, but like the first portal is like also a short game. And like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, right? Ah. Cute concepts don't cost nothing. <laughs> like, be absolutely fucking real here. Um, making your game cute and interesting. Oh, gosh dang it. I keep getting landed on by the thing to start the battle. <laughs> and like, I'm not saying the game is like actually bad. Like, I'm not saying it's measurably bad. I'm just saying it's not something that I would want to eat, you know? <laughs> Whereas well, porcelain is either. something that... What? Well, I'm not eating it either. But you get my point, though. It's just a taste thing. <laughs> it's like, whereas... I, I feel like if... I feel like... I feel like if I was... I feel like if I, if I wanted to play a game with that mechanic... I imagine that, like, you'd probably be playing... You might like Burlet like, Swing is another game that's kind of similar that I've seen. Are there any where you play as like a spider person who like shoots the web out of their butthole and then like <laughs> swings on that and it's like third person? Are there no, any like that, Elena? You might have to make that one yourself. I've got too many games in the oven already. <laughs> Cause, like, I, I, barely do any, I barely do any damage to this thing. And it's so hard to like hit it. Okay, if I charge I could have more mobility. I don't do any more damage, but at least I can move around a little better. I feel like for a boss with this, maybe something that was just like more attack would be bad. Because this boss yeah, doesn't well, even. Yeah, well, this is all I've got. There was nothing before the boss, so. Oh yeah, that's true. Fuck. I'm stuck with these two choices. I think I had trouble on this one as well. Just remember any I'm situation where you're about to. Take... Gosh dang it! Literally any situation where you're about to take damage, just dash, and there's a chance they might hit the right magic moment to give you the invincibility. I don't. Frames. I don't have the. The timing down for when it's going to attack. It's the same issue I had with that other boss. I haven't That's figured fair. out the timing yet. Like, I it's one thing to like know to dodge, but it's another thing to know when to dodge. Hmm. This is like this is one of the things I like about games like this and Kirby is like most of it's relatively easy, and then you get to a boss, and it's just like you know you just have to like learn how to. Oh, you oh you did a you did a dodge thing. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> Our marriage is saved. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, it was never in peril. <laughs> Could you imagine if I came to you with divorce papers and then the second I tried to hand them to you, you just dodged and got iframes <laughs> and we stayed together? <laughs> just because it impressed you so much. No, just because I, you got iframes, I can't give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> but then the, you, the you would still document. want to do that, and so it wouldn't really be any better for me, would it? No, because I, I like the divorce documents were like a projectile. So when you dodge them, oh no! Like, I've already used <laughs> them. Oh no! You were so close. You were so close, lady. Remember, remember on my, one thing I was complaining a bit about with the a story about my uncle was something I complain about with many things, which was I was like, con how convenient of the aliens to know how to speak English, eh, Luigi? <laughs> Oh, Elena, don't be a Neil deGrasse Tyson, please. <laughs> this is, no, please don't go for mama. Okay, wait, are they actually aliens? They're, like, something. I don't think you're maybe on Earth. Okay, I don't know. I could, maybe... It Although helps that, like... She did mention yeah. that, like, the Uncle Fred, like, taught her how to English. I was like, okay. Mm. I was like, how convenient that your alien biology allows you to physically speak English. <laughs> well, I mean, we can speak lots of languages. Like, you can speak. Well, I know, cats. but like, there are other like species of animals that like have like language <coughs> capabilities, but like can't speak English just because they're physically like incapable of doing so because of yeah, like, but the I vocal mean, cords. Like, <laughs> but, like, is it actually a problem? Like, like a dolphin tank... or a gorilla. Have like, like I've got the ability to learn language in some capacity, but couldn't ever 
vocally speak English because their vocal cords are incapable of making the noises can I ask required. You a Elena, can I ask you a question? What? How do trains learn language? <laughs> well, see, the issue there is that to... it's not trying to be in any way realistic. <laughs> if there's some well, amount like, of realism I'm... involved, anything that's unrealistic is like gonna bug me. So. <laughs> So what you're saying is the game would be better if you starred a spider who pooped out webs. Yeah. If it was just Ex like totally like fantasy, then I could like exactly. think aside a bit. Although so, it does okay. it does still annoy me when like every other like intelligent like species is like human humanoid. Also bugs mm. me a bit too because it also seems unlikely. <laughs> I you see you know what I've done I'm re I'm a real clever I'm a real clever. Mm -hmm. In the universe that all my work takes place in, there's an in-universe explanation for all the humanoids. I was just gonna say one too that is like, well, if you explain it as if like that's some sort of like, you know, some sort of universal constant that it's like sort of like a body shape that just like works in many contexts. It's sort of like a very like ideal sort of like shape to end up in. Mm. Like I kind of get that, <laughs> and like that's possible. No, my explanation's even better than that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, so imagine you're a stinky little dinosaur, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and you don't have a bum bum because you, <laughs> you're because because the 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 physiology of of avians mean you don't have a bum bum. You should have a hole, right? Yeah. Okay, and then and also imagine you've got like an elongated face, right? Yeah. Okay, nobody's gonna help you, right? <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about you. Now imagine this, imagine you're the same dinosaur, but you stood you stood up right a bit, your tail's a bit smaller. So you're you're developing a bum bum. And your face <laughs> is a bit your and your face is a what bit. What are you trying what is the point of this? <laughs> no, let me let me get to the point. Right? Where are we going this with the, this? This is the explanation for why in the in and universe explanation for why all my work has humanoid aliens, right? Uh-huh. So you're a dinosaur and now you have less of a tail, you're developing a bum bum. Your your face has like gone shorter. Who is right? this? <laughs> like a top hat, like Flower Man. Okay, you're okay. You're a little bit closer to a fairy at this point, right? Okay. So the fairy is gonna heal you if you're in trouble. So there is an evolutionary <laughs> incentive for you to become a fairy like. That's so silly. And that's why is that silly? That's literally your pugs have flat faces. Just because we've bred them to look like our yeah. idea of Q. That's, it just that's amuses how... me. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's just funny to me. That's that, the in, my, in, in, the, in the canon that all my stories take place in, Whoops. that's the origins of humans, demons, <laughs> angels, cat people, <laughs> da, uh, fucking all, every single humanoid species. It was just... That they were just they were just they were accidentally bred cute by fairies, <laughs> and yeah, that's why they all have like much. a bum bum and spine problems, <laughs> because the body because the body shape isn't actually that good for biological creatures to have like an S shaped back. But you got it because then you have the bum. It does it does fairies remind me of pugs you. because they have all sorts of health problems because of the unusual shape that they've been made into. Yeah. Also, all of them have existential dread because <laughs> because they're all as intelligent as fairies, but they don't have the infinite lifespans, and they <laughs> don't have any kind of magic that allows them to like leave their own society or function without help. <laughs> so basically, realistically, um, yeah, I, I have like the perfect explanation for the humanoid designs in everything I do. <laughs> It's time to it's time to pat me on the bum bum for my inventiveness. Yeah, and things that have no explanation for it, it's just like just apparently because people can't think of any designs that aren't just people. Mm. Yeah, you said thing. I can think of a lot of designs that aren't people. It's just that I really like drawing characters with bum bums. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, so like I remember hearing about you know like the gray alien <sighs> design, like the very common sort of alien design. Yeah, it's about, just a funky baby skeleton. It came about early on just because they wanted something that looked like looked alien or looked like something yeah. people would believe came from outer space, but that would be sort of like low budget that they'd be able to do. <laughs> so it couldn't be too different from a person. 
<laughs> you know, there was actually there was actually more to it than that as well. Because like a, there was a time where the scientific community believed that any intelligent animal would have to be human shaped. Because well, like, that's what I was <laughs> talking about. It was like, yeah, like there uh, is certain also, things that can like likely be expected mm -hmm. for things like on other planets to develop, mm -hmm. which is you know they got to have some sort of like mode of locomotion, and they'll likely have something to like you know be able to sense the environment so they probably will have something like eyes yeah or and they'll probably have like a mouth and <laughs> things like that there's it's certain like features that you can guess that are likely not just limited to earth there's actually another reason for gray aliens as well which i believe it was something along the lines of yo george orwell yeah he make a book with alien in it well, he also apparently made. Oh, I didn't know he did. Oh, I knew he did 1984 and that stuff. Yeah, he also did War of the Worlds and also some oh, stuff okay. involving aliens. I don't know. But, why I never realized that. <laughs> well, it's old shit. I wouldn't expect you to. But the point is, right? Okay, is he made in one of his stories? He had like a speculative design for future humans, I think, which was basically just gray aliens. That makes me, that just makes me think of. <laughs> that makes me think of the one episode of The Outer Limits where they did like the the guy who like somehow was like hit something that caused him to like evolve and he got in, like like an extra finger and he just had like a like a really big brain and like <laughs> he had like Why six would you fingered get hands. The finger? He had like six fingered hands so that like I don't know. Apparently that There's was no better than five fingers. <laughs> hey. Do you want me to? Do you want me to tell you what, how I think humanity will evolve in the future? I think he was the one who goes, "Your ignorance makes me ill and angry." <laughs> wow, what an edge lord! <laughs> Ouch! You're really getting your ass handed to you by this fucking top hat gentleman. The top hat light bulb guy. Look, it's. Sir Topham Hatbot with the glowing bum bum. I'm so glad that Cassie has introduced me to the term bum bum. It's great. <laughs> it has a very distinct energy from ass. It seems like a very bis term too, though. It, oh gosh, dang it! I used to hate. I hate the word bum, but I like the term bum bum. <laughs> What's the difference? Well, I think bum just ends prematurely. Like, it, 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 it's <laughs> underwhelming. But bum bum. And that's what you call like, somebody who's just, like, you know, like, worthless. Well, if you're American, you do. <laughs> Someone who's, like, ah. like, being, like, a real jerk. Ah, you bum! Get off my sofa! You <laughs> bum! Hey Lainey, do you like my American impression? I've worked on it for years. <laughs> I'm from Illinois! <laughs> <laughs> Did I say Illinois? I mean Oregon! The trail! Is this what you think I sound like? <laughs> hey, I'm Elena! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's just Marge. <laughs> I didn't mean to. By accident, I didn't march. Oh, holy! The beach, the town at the beach we often go to, uh, Seaside, has a statue <laughs> commemorating the end of the Oregon Trail. For a second, I thought you were going to say a statue commemorating March. No. Because <laughs> you mentioned the Oregon Trail. Imagine like, imagine like an unusually large statue, like it's 50 feet tall, <laughs> and she's in the I'll crap of you, sweetie pie! <laughs> Something oh. else that amused me about the Oregon Trail was that, or how like, little they knew about, like, the Oregon. rest of the country, or like, you know, how little they knew about what they were going to find out there, like apparently, like, Lewis and Clark were warned to watch out for woolly mammoths. <laughs> Did you know the what? Did you know the, the furry elephant boys were still alive when the pyramids were created in Egypt? Yes, I was aware of that. Yeah. Did and you also... read the same trivia article as me? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I've heard that. Also, know that the uh, uh, the pyramids 
the time the pyramids were being built is when the redwood forest was just starting to grow. Do you think I know what a redwood forest is? In California, that's where the really, really, like, massive trees are. Do you think I know what a California is? <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but they might be, like, the largest trees, like, known in the world. Do you think I know what trees are? And they're, like, thousands of years old. <laughs> Do you think I know what a thousand is? <laughs> and there was- well, that's why I'm explaining. Do you think I know what explaining is? <laughs> And there was one that they had like drilled like a tunnel through so that like cars could drive through it, but that fell out, that fell down recently. Oh, like that's a, a shame. That's a I wish I could have seen that. It looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, I imagine it looks really cool. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Imagine if they drilled a hole in it and then put a train through. <laughs> That'd make me so the happy. The famous tree yeah. fell down. There was a famous tree in Oregon too. It was the world's largest Sitka spruce tree, and then I think it was in 2008. We had a really big, like, typhoon here, and it fell down during that. Lainey, can you do me a favor? What? Can you produce a YouTube video where we have a shot Gosh, of the tree it. that fell down, and then you have, like, me singing, In the branches of an angel. <laughs> this, this, uh, this stage is getting real low frame rate for some reason. That's real weird. I guess, I guess your computer just can't handle all the tubes. There's just too many tubes in the stage. Something on the game's end, because the stream is still running at 60 frames per second. Oh no, Lake Fepard, what have you done? <laughs> it's really weird having a game made by one person, because you'd never see me like sit there, play Super Mario Bros. 7, The Lost Paper, and then be like, Miyamoto, why did you typo this? <laughs> Miyamoto. I mean, don't do that was a lot like Naruto. What? But you'd do that with Undertale, that's one with one person. No. No. It, it, it's a league, it's a, I could not bring myself to criticize Undertale. <laughs> it would, it, I feel like it would be too harmful to my well-being to insult this precious babby. Game. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for doing that as much as oh, I okay. think I've done on the stream. <laughs> oh, it's okay for name. You have you have no fucking obligation to Undertale. It's like me because I've adopted Undertale as my baby. <laughs> this is such a weird frame rate <laughs> on the stage. What? It's such a weird frame rate issue on the stage. What's going on? Oh no, Elena? Huh? Elena? I'm Elena here. there? Yeah. Oh sorry, that was wait, was I always here? Yeah. And you've oh, sorry, been on the stream the whole time. I've been on the stream, my audio's been going through the stream the whole time, and so is yours. So it must oh, have been sorry. Discord. Oh, if it was Discord, that's a relief. Because I was worried that like the game had like actually memory leaked and your PC <laughs> just exploded. Because the stream thing... stopped and my internet was bad at the The, same time. the pause menu is regular frame rate. I get in, looks like that's 60 frames per second. Let's see, Spark the Electric Jester. It's barely using any CPU or anything, really, so I don't know. Well, I'll keep looking at it. I'll run the game and I'll keep looking at this and see how it be. <laughs> and it's still using only a third of the CPU. So, there seems like a lot for this game, actually. A, a whole third of the CPU going to Spark. It's a very big and complex game, Elena. Let's see what happens if I restart the game. Actually, wait, are you at a save point? Well, yeah. Well, there's just lots of checkpoints. I won't lose it my progress be here. To be fair, it might be one of those games where it's like rendering on CPU rather than GPU. <laughs> it's still like... I don't know, it still shouldn't be slowing down if it's not using that much of it. Like, I play, I just played a story about my uncle for like... two hours, and it was just fine, so... <laughs> I don't think it's the computer's issue. To be fair, a story about my uncle is a much more simplistic game. 
Well, I mean, also it's in 3D, <laughs> which takes a lot more computing power. I'm yeah, sure but it's also a lot more, more computing game. power. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with how much processing power is being used. It's the most nope. <laughs> That didn't change anything. <clears throat> I guess this level is just fumbles bang to you. Well, I'm. I, I hate to. I hate to say this, but I'm glad that I never had these problems when I played. <laughs> Even though my compu penis is a big old spring penis. What happens if I close <laughs> Steam? Uh, I wouldn't advise That's doing all I that have to close. Steam game. Well, it doesn't do anything. Wait. Is the overlay turned off? Yeah. Mm. I'm just trying to close. Like I can't close Discord, obviously, because then I lose you. I have closed. Go on without me, honey. I've closed Google Chrome. Yeah, Google Chrome is a big stinky bomb bomb anyway. Who needs it? That's why Not I have my me. Tablet. For a second, would you could say your tab. I don't think that's part of Google Chrome, I mean. You can't oh, just close tablet. the software but keep the tab open. <laughs> hey, Elena, how would you feel if I was just a paracetamol tablet? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what that is. You said a How would you feel killer. if I was How would you feel if I was an Oh you have a double jump tablet? with this? How would you feel if I was an amoxicillin tablet? Why you do this to me? Whoops. How <laughs> would you feel if I was a melatonin tablet? <laughs> I'd go to sleep. How would you feel if I was a, an estradiol I sleep? tablet? <laughs> 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 that meme. <laughs> I sleep and then the other one is the the real. How would you feel if I was a spirulactone tablet? <laughs> How would you feel if I was a P tablet that was just solidified P? Somebody say, what do you mean? Maybe it's surprise Pocky? Oh, the Wait, thing that Nintendo's sending me. <laughs> oh, it's on Twitter. Apparently is yeah, because I was gonna put the stream announcement out again, and I was looking at notification. Which I get very many of <laughs> during the day. Okay. <clears throat> How long have we been streaming for? About an hour? And keep going. Oh wait, I need the chat up. I need my you chat. chat you gotta get the chat up! You gotta, we let gotta the chat. get the chat back! Oh. <laughs> the slowdown is like actually like causing issues now. Trying to play this the game. This is really weird, because I never had problems like that in this video game. And it just started on this stage. <laughs> it's like lagging enough that <coughs> it's like causing me issue. Occasionally the frame rate picks back up to normal. I'm not sure why. But most of the time it <laughs> is not. It is weird how it's been this 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 is just bad for you, this crusty. Okay, now frame rate's back to normal. Yeah, we have normal frame rate now for this boss. Yeah yeah. Bark doesn't have very much of a duck, does he? He just barely ducks. <laughs> you press down. Oh no, I sent somebody a picture of the Wow uh -huh. And then and then they just replied of a picture of a horse with dog teeth. Yeah, the boss ended, frame rates back down again. <laughs> Why is it like this? Why are you going to be like this? Why is it going to be like this? A horse with teeth. Don't horse? Don't horses usually have teeth? No, but these are bad teeth. These are real bad teeth. Okay, frame rate's normal again now. It was just that stage. Why was it that stage? Maybe it has something to do with the way the background element works. Maybe it's just a big stage. Maybe there's like... You're all the pipes. Uh huh. 
maybe all the pipes have like some kind of like trigger object, so which no. is like, which is like. Poly it'd have to be. I was gonna say it'd have to be terribly unoptimized <laughs> to cause slowdown of this of this game on my computer. But I mean, again, it was made by one person, so you know, <laughs> only so much time you can spend <laughs> testing optimization, and only so many you know systems you can test it on. Yeah. God, the backgrounds in this game. Like on my is game, so I kind of just, I kind of just hope for the best, really. <laughs> Laney, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you download all the backgrounds from this game from the Sprayers resource and then print them very small? Wait, I think on I've gone backwards. I think this is the start of yeah. the stage. Yeah, there's literally arrows pointing upwards, Elena. <laughs> oh. <laughs> literally, just arrows all over the background. Oh, That's weird. That. That's another weird thing about this game is how I keep getting turned around like that. I think that happened in the fan game too a couple times. Yeah. By this person, <laughs> I'd get turned around and end up going the wrong way. Some people aren't great at like sense of direction in platformers. I'm all I mean, right I usually it, am. It's just kind of this game that does it mm -hmm. to me. Well, I mean, there's, there's varying degrees of it and varying degrees of games where it can be an issue. This is a game with like very elaborate like level designs and also like realistically. Um, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard talking about like stuff like that because I don't know what's a reasonable level of guidance. Because <laughs> I feel like in this game, like there's always generally rules. Like in this stage, you're generally going from left to right. Or well, here the to arrows top. are pointing me this way, but then it's a dead end. But I'm not exactly sure what the game wants from me. Well, go another direction that isn't the which is uh, the only like, other okay, way I can go is the exact opposite of the arrows. <laughs> Okay, imagine you're going. Imagine you're going north, right? Uh -huh. But you end up in a cul-de-sac. You back out of the cul-de-sac, go along, and then go north again. <laughs> Why were the arrows there pointing me that way then? If that wasn't the way I was know. supposed to go. Jeez. Okay, okay. You know what? The ar okay, the arrows there were pointing left when you had to go. Okay, you know. What? Actually, I changed my mind. The arrows are just bullshit. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because like you couldn't go I through that pipe. That pipe only sends you up. Yeah, okay, you know, I changed my mind, this is just bullshit. <laughs> I had no problems, but I'm, pr like, unusually good at navigating 2D spaces, I'm actually really good. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm good at, I've good. always been good at navigation, so, in, like, well, just in general, so. <laughs> well, I guess I'm, like, even better -er -er <laughs> than when the best I'm, like, so. One I always remember that I always think is kind of funny was, like, uh, I was, like, when my sister was born, I was the one who remembered how to get through the hospital to, like, where mm. my mom was. <laughs> Elena. What? I just figured it the fuck out. Wait, no, never mind. I was gonna say I figured it out, but I haven't. I thought oh. that maybe, like, the directions the arrow shows where the wind is facing, but nope. It isn't. Well, I think it does. Like, here it does. And in that other area, when they were pointing to the left, the wind was going to the left. Yeah, but there's also areas where the wind is going diagonally, but the arrows are pointing straight up. But that might be like a one-off error. I well, don't here, know. here they're diagonal, and the wind is diagonal. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was the one who guided my uh, aunt and grandma through the hospital. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> well, you guided an aunt through the hospital? That sounds like a difficult job. <laughs> Did you leave like a trail of sugar or something? Not that kind. <laughs> I'm just imagining you huddled on the ground. Everybody's like, oh, sweetie, what are you doing? You're like, shh, I'm guiding my aunt. <laughs> when I was cleaning like, out. I remember that day very well. And when I was cleaning out my room to like redo stuff in there, I found an old drawing notebook that had like a drawing that I remember doing that day. <laughs> Like in the hospital, Aww. waiting to see my new sister. <laughs> what happened to the old one? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> my first, my first new sister. <laughs> oh, so it's like a new 3DS. Yeah. It do, it, it's like, oh, I get you, I get you, <laughs> I get, you, I get you. Was it like an XL or like normal? It was pretty small, actually. Oh wow! So a new, it's like a new. Sister Micro. <laughs> <laughs> and then later oh, on. Oh, look, it's a bee. Hammer bee. Hammer bee. 
I'm a mic. Place is huge. Your timer must be massive. What? That's my timer, but I'm not carrying anything. Huh? I don't know. He's a bit of a. Oh. Turned into this massive dragon too. What was up with that? Is it him? It's just his pet. This pet is a dragon? <laughs> Eam? I keep wanting to pronounce it like Sean. Um. Please don't. <laughs> they really need to fix... They really need to not cut off words in the middle of them. And then go to a new line. <laughs> That's like the worst looking thing. There's not even like a dash. It's just an advertisem and <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put on that edgy act at all times. He doesn't like that on the inside. Hard to see, but there's a good side. It's still hiding in there. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, that was a weird sentence. Anyway, so I got this proposition for you. If you get past my hammer, you'll find a forest. Go through until you find a tower. Climb it, and you'll get a very nice surprise. Alright, can do. Wait. Get past your hammer. I like how they're like friendly to him, but then like still fight him. Yeah, it's nothing He's personal. Like, well, I still gotta, I still gotta fight you, you know. But you know, I'm the I, boss. I like you just fine, but I still have to fight with you. <laughs> just how things oh. are around here, you know. I love this fucking game. I like how I I'm, how I'm. Still, like, my first instinct is to try and jump over attacks, when in this game, really, it's better to dodge through them. <clears throat> I still haven't gotten that into my head yet, that, like, I should be dodging as opposed to jumping. Ah, oh, it's just the instinct. The instinct. That's how it is with most games, you know. <clears throat> you know, there's like a... There's like a super hard mode that you get after, like, 100... I think after 100%ing the game. Um, and in that mode, I think it, I think I, if I can remember, I think it's literally just this, except I think you only have like three health or something like that. Uh, well, I mean, I usually only have three health. <laughs> oh, was it three or is it one health? I can't remember. It was one or the two. Well, there's a mode like that in Kirby, Kirby's Adventure, where you like get uh much less health. That's the hmm. challenge mode. The, the ch I was gonna portmanteau that, but it wasn't gonna end well. <laughs> and also, like, you get no saves. You have to do it all in one go. Oof. 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 That's the hard mode of Kirby's Adventure. I should do a stream where I attempt to do the hard mode of Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> Kind of similar to the hard mode of Kirby's Dreamland. What's the name of that little fat snake from Pokemon? Which, which one? Dunsparce. <laughs> yeah. The one with the little wings. Yes. Yeah, that's Dunsparce. Yeah, somebody ah. was somebody somebody said to me. Like, I always thought that oh. it was a bug until later I found out that it's supposed to be like a like a Japanese mythology thing. Yeah. It's like a little fat snake <laughs> with wings. Oh god, you yeah, I really hate. Mm hmm People who don't seem to understand that like some Pokemon's height is actually oh. a length. Cause there's yeah. so many people who seem to think that a Dunsparce is like six feet in diameter. <laughs> it's like no! Obviously <laughs> not! It's always been clear to me. Like the fact that Furret is like 5 foot 11. Yeah. That's how long it is. Which is still pretty long, but... <laughs> it could still be a small bean. I want to have a Furret sit around my neck like a scarf. I wonder if this other ability would be better for this, the, the night one. Let's give it a go. Let's do a bit of Lance. <laughs> lance. Whoops. No, stop moving with that attack. Why don't you just stand still and attack? 
I like how you can stand behind him during that entire attack and not get hit whatsoever. Ouch. Spark, why? Ouch. Spark! Oh no! Spark! I do appreciate- Scrungled. I do appreciate playing games where you can tell that it was just, like, a lot of passion went into it by the creator. Yeah. Oh, that was a really nice dodge, by the way, honey. Thank you. I did it. No you health did left. It. As long as there's not a second phase for this battle. No, there isn't. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a tweet that was really funny. It was like, um, it was like, when I'm struggling on a boss, um, and somebody's like, yeah, I hate that one. Hey, hello. Especially the second phase. And I'm like, <laughs> the excuse me? The Welcome to the stream. Oh my god! It's fucking Shan, I think. Is that Shan? I'm pretty sure it's fucking Shan. Or am I wrong? It's an interesting stage. Also, no slowdown on this stage either. Okay, I'm probably wrong. Let me just double check. They don't think it was anything that was my fault that caused the slowdown earlier. Loho Land. Oh my fucking god, it's fucking Shan! Elena, Shan is good. <laughs> You'll have to it's excuse me not knowing who this is. <laughs> Yeah, they're from like Sweden, but sometimes come over to ye old Londoni town and I come over and give them a big hug. <laughs> Loho Land, part two. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is the theme park level. It's so good, and also the entire thing looks like. Oh hey, here's the little bouncers that they have in Sonic sometimes, like in the casino stages. Yeah. Hey Lena, can I make a can I make a cursed observation about the tile set in this level? What? Uh, the bricks look like they're made of Princess Bubblegum's dead skin cells. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're made out of that. <laughs> no! No! Don't you say that to me! That's really mean! You're a real big Hey, mean. hello. Hello, invalid username. Whoa. Oh, wait. Well, no, it's... Oh, yeah, it's in... Yeah, it's invalid username. I had to lean in to check because I have my glasses on for no good reason. This is... confusing. <laughs> Come on, Spark, get somewhere. Stop it. <laughs> Just go someplace else. I want you to here go over go here. To there we go. Time. Welcome oh, to the God, stream. We're playing pinball. <laughs> oh, I could imagine. Spark, the electric jester is the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it is so fun watching it you. It can't have been. Around. It can't have been the pipes that were causing slowdown because there's been those pipes in the stages following, and there's been no slowdown. Oh, that's fair. Anyway, how are you doing, part, Shan? Why is it how part you doing, two, though? Valid username? How's your evening <laughs> This is your favorite How's your game. evening currently? How's your day? How's your week? How's your month? How's your year? How's your life? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe Spark has gone Super Saiyan! Oh, don't, don't squish me, please. Okay, they're not gonna squish. <laughs> Please do not do the squish. Oh, it's okay that you missed them. I'm doing Schedule. Good. Schedules and stuff. I'm glad I just got to see you in one of these. It's been really, it's just nice to see you. You're a good <laughs> uh, I put all my uh, streams I put all my streams on YouTube too if you ever want to watch any of them after the fact. I've been considering starting to do like compilations of Elena's streams, so it's yeah, just best like yeah. You know, my editor. <laughs> yeah, because then I can just put. To, I can basically just make like little comp. I can make and compilations I... within the compilation of like me dunking on Elena, <laughs> and just sort of stick it to her, and she'll never know until it's uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't uh, mind yeah, you doing uh... that because I don't really have time for that sort of stuff mm. anymore, which is why I haven't really done them in a long time. It's been like like a year or so <laughs> since I did last did a uh, <laughs> since I last did a compilation video so yeah uh, if you want to do question. those I would appreciate it 
But to answer the question from chat, I'm probably like, and yeah, I'm terrible, but I'm Come having on. fun. Come on. You know that feeling? Like terrible, but having fun. Controls in this are a little janky. You know what, honey? What? <laughs> Fair. I almost think it makes it funnier though. I love how <laughs> you just... like watching me struggle. <laughs> yes, I do. I like watching you suffer. Uh, come on, come on, honey, you got this. Boy, that wasn't me like throwing up a bit. Yeah, I, made that noise. <laughs> Could you I mean, with how much you're bouncing on screen, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> yeah, honestly, with this level, it's a shame you don't have gravity, because then you could just like. Oh yeah. Well, you made me get rid of that for that one boss battle, which, I mean, was fair enough, but... Well, I mean, you know, I like you suffering, so it worked out somebody, well. <laughs> somebody, I think, oh, I think that was something I saw in one of the reviews for this, said if you manage to keep the gravity power up beyond its intended stage, like, the game is, like, broken. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, to answer another question, uh, that's not really a question, that's more of a statement, but it's like, that's eh, alright, I'll probably not be terrible soon. I'm just like, because I'm still recovering from surgery. Oh, and oh, oh. And I'm, I'm not allowed to do anything, and not being allowed to do anything really upsets me. Yeah, individual username, like, gravity is just, like, it we is had it. kind of like... We had it earlier, I think you it... just, like, you just fly anywhere you want. I... It's kind of like the UFO ability in Kirby, except for it doesn't go away. <laughs> mm. I kind of feel like they maybe should have made gravity like go away after. Oh a bit. my like, goodness! I'm usually against stuff like that. <laughs> they kind of it almost forces you to do that because it's very hard to fight using it, and so you kind of like prefer to use something else for the boss battle at the end of the stage. Oh look! Oh god damn it! I didn't realize I was goofing the name. That's fair. Sometimes you got goof names, and sometimes you accidentally give somebody a new name as a result. New boot goofin'. New Don't name goofin'. <laughs> name goofin'. Oh my god, one day I'm gonna change my name legally to this, and I'll just be new name goofin'. I'll just go into work and be like, hey, you fucking scum, this is what you call me now. And people will be like, why are you calling us this? Why why are you abusing your co-workers? And I'll be, just like, be like, I'm just goofin'. Mm. <laughs> just goofing. You know, I'm just new name goofing. I say as I'm like grinding my shoe into my into my boss's Ooh. like foot. I'm oh, just I love that. That was a really goofing. good loop. Ooh, let me see the goop. Had an inversion and lots of like twists. Yeah, this game's like so much better. It does loop so much better than Sonic. Oh, and like yeah, I said, yeah, they like they feel a lot better too. Because like I said, they have they use momentum better. <laughs> I wish I could make a game with good loops. What if you only made a game with good fruits? I think that's what I've you made. Know, oh, I guess yeah, you made a f you you beat me to it. <laughs> I made a game with good fruits. Fruit Land now for sale. <laughs> that game had its one year anniversary this year. Oh, you know what you should do to celebrate the anniversary. What? You should make Marshmallow Generations, a game where modern Marshmallow <laughs> and classic Marshmallow cross over. Well, instead, I just updated the backgrounds to look nicer. Okay, here's a better idea, right? the backgrounds okay. always bugged me, so I'm so like, what, you know what, I'll make them better, finally. <laughs> so what you should do, right, okay, to, to celebrate the one-year anniversary of Marshmallow and Fruitland, right, uh -huh. is you should release a limited edition marshmallow plushie. Oh, we get to go um, around this again. Whee! It's like a marshmallow plushie that like comes with like dye, so you can dye it any of the colors of the <laughs> <game>. <laughs> Or you could just release like a set, like one in each color. No, that's, 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 that's asshole talk. I don't know but what if you quote, wanted what if, but what if you wanted to way. have one in each of the colors? Well just buy the buy the same thing six times and then waste most of the food coloring you got. <laughs> it has to be food coloring, we can't afford clothing dye. Oh my god, Elena, oh I have like an I a crafts pro well I say crafts. I have like a Whoa. minor We're engineering breaking stuff idea. Now. But like it's really difficult to sign up on the do it. <laughs> the mall is a cereal prize. <laughs> we make marshmallow and fruit land cereal. Whoa, look at this one. Woo! Oh my god, one. yeah, you've turned to Goku. 
No, these loops. I love... Ooh. Oh, well, I'm waiting an interesting loops. one. Whoa. I do... I do love it really that is like a roller coaster. A... <laughs> I do love how the maker of this game just loves giving you like pa like temporary character buffs because of environmental things. Also, oh, it's a double helix. The DNA loop. It's a double helix. Yeah, it's a dupe. <laughs> <laughs> what if this stage is actually just a massive like living being, and that was the DNA of it? Um, well, we need to find the living being's bum bum so we can pass it. It's like it's, in. it's like a massive single cell, and we're in the nucleus, and there's the DNA. Okay, I scrapped that. Single cells don't have bum bums, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay, Elena, I've got a scenario for you, right? Okay, uh -huh. listen up, right? Single imagine. Celled, but. Okay, now imagine you're looking under a mic uh, electron microscope, right? At some <laughs> microscopic creatures, a single celled organisms, right? Mm -hmm. And you find like a eukaryote or something that yeah. has a perfect replica of your butt, specifically <laughs> your butt. <laughs> it has your exact butt. Well, it's boss time. This one, How this one had no it? intro. It's just we're just fighting now. I mean, oh, some yeah, of the other ones is... have had no intro. Oh, this is Marks. Oh yeah, Invalg username is right. We we are just inside Princess Bubblegum. Or like, oh. <laughs> like it's on Britain's bubblegum skin, and the DNA stays in dead skin, because because it, why would it leave? Oh yeah, it's it's illusion wizard man boy, who likes butts. <laughs> what? Canonically, wait. Did you not remember? You... Remember this was the one where I accidentally skipped the dialogue earlier. Oh, and you then, missed the dialogue yeah, about and how then he likes I, butts. And then I beat him instantly, so we didn't get to see it again. <laughs> You didn't see the dialogue about how he he likes butts, but he insults Spark I'm... being like, "Yeah, you've got a flat butt, Spark." And because remember, because uh, remember, all he said was just, "Huh." That was all the dialogue I got. <laughs> Elena, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, I agree as well, Sham. They are pretty gosh dilly ding dang darn good. And I like how <laughs> they're like a, a near universal human feature. Everybody got but. Okay, he just stood there and stared at me for a bit after I beat him. <laughs> wait, wait, head cannon? I'm pretty sure. No, no uh, th this boss, I think, literally is just cannon likes butts. <laughs> I think it's like a cutscene about it. I, I might be misremembering that. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of single cell organisms, it's been. I noticed it's been eight months since I last streamed Spore. Ooh. <laughs> You should bring that back again. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were gonna say it's been eight months since you became multicellular. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I th I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene where like he's talking to the one guy who looks like Gurren from Gurren Lagann, and he's just like, "Yeah, you, you, you got a flat butt," and says some other stuff. And then like I think there's like another cutscene where he's like, "Man, why was I programmed to like butts?" <laughs> And like I, I watched that, I was like, yeah, that's a pretty relatable. That's existential. That's the right kind of existential crisis for this generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Whoa! How did I do that? I somehow glitched in between the, in between the molecules. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm waiting. I'm gonna see what happened. I don't see any glitching. I managed to. Oh get yep, yep. In between the. And it's then just because you to be dive down on them too hard. That's not even the way to go. I can't believe Princess Bubblegum just ate all of these bouncy cheese slices. There's some very retro music here. Let me have a listen to the music. It makes me think of, uh... Like... Makes me think of, uh... Well, specifically, it's, like, it's reminding me of, uh... 80s Overdrive, which is... Just meant to be like old, like racing arcade games. <laughs> That's more generally what it's like. It also kind of makes me think of Sonic Mania. <laughs> it actually makes me think of Sonic. But uh, okay, do you remember how I sent you the older version of Sonic before the sequel that yeah. didn't have the original soundtrack? Mm -hmm. It sounds. It reminds me of the oh, original. But it's pinball time again. It's time for the balls to pin. 
time for the pins to ball. Uh. Yeah, this is oh, very. This is, this is very. This is pretty Sonic music, I think. Oh. This is some beautiful pinging around. <laughs> pinging around at the speed. At of least Jester. I feel like I'm making progress this time. <laughs> kind of. Oh god, this is great! I love this. You know, I was thinking last night about, or because I was just <laughs> reminded of. Uh, I always really liked the Sonic Mania, like the initial trailer for that. Like that got me interested in the game. And I was thinking about how uh, any time now we're like, or like we probably we know they're probably working on whatever the new Mario game is going to be. And I was just thinking about like, what would I want for that? Like, I guess I just kind of want it to be something new, you know? Like. <laughs> Although they oh, usually like the do Super do, <laughs> they usually do something new with Mario, like at least the 3D ones, like all of them. Oh, I think the only ones that were very similar was Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, but that's kind of like excusable because they were both great. <laughs> and like <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy 2 felt like more of the like the full sort of like exploration of the uh, the ideas, you know, like it hey. felt more like finished. Also, hey, in now I don't feel like I'm making progress. <laughs> hey, invalid username. To be fair, like, an IV of magma feels better than Sonic Heroes Pinball. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, uh... <laughs> I was just... Whenever I started imagining that kind of thing, like, what's the new Mario going to be? For some reason, like... I think the Sonic Mania... The initial Sonic Mania trailer is, like, one of my favorite game trailers. Like, I've ever seen. <laughs> just, like, the way it was done. And like the music in it and everything, and so that's kind of my go-to for thinking about what I would want for like an announcement for a new Mario game, <laughs> something like that. I'm not exactly sure what that would mean with Mario, but you know, <laughs> I feel like it would. Ow. Whoa, I feel like it would show like Super Mario Maker or <laughs> something like that, and then be like, and now we're doing like the new like regular Mario game, you know, <laughs> or something like that, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> We've looked at all of the things that you've made in Mario Maker. <laughs> We've seen what people like in Mario. And now we're going to add to it. I think it'd be really good There's if the next Mario, Mario game... <laughs> I, I think it'd be really great if the next Mario game... They just follow up on Samari. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, just dear. Sonic Forces, but with Mario skin. <laughs> well, I say so, a right Samari there. game would be cool, unironically. <laughs> I do want them to do, like, I want to see another, like, brand new, two, like, I don't know, like, do they want to do, like, brand new, like, 2D Mario games, or are they just, like, Mario Maker as our 2D Mario games now? Okay, Shan, you know what? There's a fan who's working on that, and, like, obviously progress is slow because it's one person working on it. But Sonic's, I think it's called Sonic Studio. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I've seen that. It's like, it's so fucking good. It looks so slick. There's also an Adventure Maker one that's uh, for making Zelda-like games. Pretty cool. Aww. For a second, I thought you were gonna say Sonic Adventure. Like and it has games. no, it has. That's oh, no, very disappointing. It has a visual style that looks a lot like the Game Boy's uh, Zelda games. Oh yeah, the good ones. <laughs> Yeah, what I was gonna say, I want them to do a new 2D Mario game, but I want them to do it with like a different art style, like a very different art style from what they've done. Because you know, the first few Mario games all had like very different art styles, and then mm. they decided on New Super Mario Bros. Which I I I'm one of the people who like liked that, but even I am like, well, I'd like to see them do something different now. <laughs> like, I want to see them go back to like what they did with the first few Mario games and do it like, let's make a new art style for it. You know. <laughs> Like, okay, in, hot time. like, like maybe like a cool like 2D art style similar to like the 2D art that they do for Mario stuff. Would be cool. Okay, like super, in motion. super hot take, right? Uh -huh. Nuclear take. They should just hire the person who did all the assets for uh, Peach's Adventure, the Super Mario World <laughs> Bomb hack, and just have them make the art assets for the next Mario. Game. <laughs> something else I thought is like they should do something like Sonic Mania, you know, and get like. a there's so many fan game people who do great stuff. Imagine what they'd do if they were paid for it. You know, <laughs> like if they had a budget, well, I mean, what they could do. You're forgetting that Nintendo hates fans and thinks that they we should saw... sit down yeah. and consume. <laughs> like that's the, the issue. Is like they should look at what Sega did and like look how cool that turned out. You know, yeah, you yeah, do that too. Do that. Let Mario I... do that. I think Miyamoto is just like he's too like possessive of it. Like I, I'm the one who has to do Mario. 
you know. <laughs> like, okay. I don't think he would I ever like let them do like a like a regular 2D Mario game and let somebody other than him do it, you know. Like. <laughs> I feel like part of the problem is just Nintendo is up its own ass. Just it has the culture of the company. It's just people <laughs> 12 miles up their own gosh darn bum bum hole. <laughs> And that's the thing is that Sega, for all that's their faults, a... have humility. Yeah, that's why they've decided, like, it's kind of the opposite with the classic console thing, is like, they were letting other people do that when it should be them doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they, they even figured that kind of thing out, so... <laughs> Although that isn't out yet, we'll have to wait and see if that's actually good. But <laughs> also, a hot take, by the way. Uh -huh. Um, I think, I think there's still reason to make more 2D Marios, it's just that, like, it, they'd have to, like, it, it, they'd just have to do it well. Like, okay, actually, no, even hotter take, right? Uh -huh. Okay? The okay. release of Mario Maker 2 has not, do, has not depreciated the value of a new 2D Mario. Because yeah. the value of a new 2D Mario... like, I wonder if Mario, like, like, I wonder if Nintendo like, sees it that way, though, is the thing, like... Okay, please let me finish, <laughs> I swear to God. Um... Like, My I agree with you on that, but... <laughs> okay, the thing is, is, like, I feel like the... Va I feel like every Like, basically, the narrative... Uh, like, it was just that everybody's sick of new Super Mario Bros. games in general. Everybody wants something different if they do anything. Uh -huh. Um, and I feel like, effectively, that paradigm is still the same after Mario Maker, which is, if they make a 2D <laughs> Mario, which is interesting, then people will like it. Like I thought, of I thought the coolest part was... of that was the 3D world style, which was basically like that was basically a brand new 2D Mario thing. It's a shame they never bothered to finish that one. <laughs> it's always just amuses me when you word it that way. <laughs> it would be nice if they finished it. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, because what made me think about that uh, last time was you know the the NES Online thing, where they had like the special edition things that they do, whereas like. I had, like, my initial thought on that was like, oh, it's like, they, like, did, like, a ROM hack, basically, and then it turns out, no, they just made a save state. <laughs> and it was like, well, gee, imagine if they did, like, a new, like, special versions of, like, NES games or, like, ROM hacks, but, like, in an official capacity, like, people would love that. Like, people would pay for those kind of things. And, like, they, they have the resources know? to do those kind of things. They could, like, you know, they did NES Remix, which was kind of like that. No, Renny, they, I feel they could like really go like <laughs> they did that far. Like, keep going. Like, you could do some really cool stuff. <laughs> NES Remix, actually, I think I don't think it had much actual ROM editing. A lot of it was just like, um, like they would interpret the the RAM, like the like the current state of the game, right? And mm -hmm. they would just dr like draw over. Well, I know, what was but being produced by the emulation. But like, you know what I mean, like. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think they have I'm not saying literally, I think that, but, like... And, like, people do that stuff for free all the time, on their own time. That's what I meant, like, get those people yeah. and, like, pay them. And then, like, okay. release it and people will love it. Like, they're, like, okay, missing, like, a, a thing that would be popular. Well, if we're talking about those people, then, yeah, sure. Although there is a slight <laughs> problem there, which is, like... Like, you know that one guy who does all that, like, Super Mario 6, all those, like... Imagine how much people would love if they like released like here's an alternate version of Super Mario 64, you know like people but love those that, things. The, the problem at that point though is Nintendo's too up their own ass. And at that point, they're <laughs> well, I know that's that's who, why their... that's I know that's why they don't do it. But I'm like, they should. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop saying they should do it, <laughs> or that it would be good, great fair. if they did, you know. <laughs> hmm. I'm aware that they're not going to, <laughs> but I'm still gonna say anyway. they should. <laughs> There's a fucking Gundam with Cell from Dragon Ball's mouth on screen. <laughs> Yo, um... These guys you okay, honey? You dying? Here. Dying inside. <laughs> At least it's inside. I like how when they when they swing their sword, they just tilt a bit. Yeah, it feels kind of like pow It feels a bit casual. <laughs> Just like you. I'm not casual, I'm extra. <laughs> well, you're on a stream that's labeled as a casual playthrough, so... I assure you, this is not a casual playthrough. I literally have a gun <laughs> to the back of your head. If you don't beat the game, then you die. <laughs> this doesn't get any less casual. Oh.
Yeah, that this one guy. That one guy who does all that. Uh, the Super Mario uh, 64 hacks. I always look at those and I'm like, gee, imagine if Nintendo hired him and like let him do this stuff officially, and like release like a collection of like alternate Mario 64s or something. Can I make a hot take? What? I would like it if they just released a game that was like, yeah, this is a lot of classic Mario games, but we've just made it so you play as Peach in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> just the alternate universe where you're like, you play as Plum Peach, saving Like people like Prince to do, like the company seem to like to do remakes and stuff, and like, like do it like an HD like upgrade or something. Like, well, just keep it the same art style and just add a bunch of new features or something would be cool, you know. <laughs> like, Put more levels in there, put more characters to play as, put more, like, stuff, you know? <laughs> well, stuff that people who do ROM hacks do, you know? <laughs> yeah, like a button that makes you dab. <laughs> well, <laughs> we don't need that. Oh my god, I need to tell you, right? Okay, so I was playing like, that, that one Sonic game that was made in Doom, right? Uh -huh. um, and I go onto a server, and when you go onto a server, all the mods that are on that server oh. are in, right? Um, bad hit, bad hit. Bad and one of the mod and one of the mods in that server oh. was just a was just a character called yes! Pointy Stop. Yes, I did it <laughs> with no health left. Oh. I'm proud of you, honey. You did it. You oh, kicked the butt. Okay, that's the end. It's like, oh no, they're not doing the second phase <laughs> thing, are they? <laughs> Don't give me a second phase now after we joked about it and you were nice earlier and didn't do it. Oh my god, your dodge with no health. Like you know, you're like um. The dash dodge with like no health as well. Hey great. man, good job. Okay, let's see if he talks about butts. That was fun. Please talk again about sometime. butts. The guy from the park, Romalo, with a new body and hoodie. Fancy, doesn't it? I like how the little talking animation is just him doing like a smaller like smile. Like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ready to go? Go where? Wait. Yes. You're not going to do anything? Uh, why? Well, you fooled me twice already. Fool me three times, and you're officially that guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know the one. I don't, but I'm sorry for whatever I did. When this all began, I was infected by a virus. That's how this whole thing got started. I'm really sorry if I did anything wrong. Also, we should go in. The doc is waiting. Man, you sure are different. Wait, doc? Yeah, Dr. Armstrong. He works out. He's got a strong arm. This just looks like... This little effect reminds me of Nightmare from Kirby's Adventure. Oh dang. All the guys who were nice to Spark. No, no, no. It's fine. None of us are infected. Pain. This is a gathering. We have a mission. Calm your cheeks. Everything is fine. <laughs> also ignore those two back there. They have at least a thousand loose screws. <laughs> Your insult is not appreciated. The doctor didn't have enough time to fix them. You're gonna have to bear with the attitude and Karana's weird voice. Where is this doctor? He will show up soon. Hey guys, I'm picking something up. It's him. <laughs> it's Mario. <laughs> no! Hello? Shh, is this working? Shh. Oh, those are the little bug antennas you're talking about. Yeah, they're bug people. Of course, known as people. There, I think I got it. Oh, it's the Jester. It's a pleasure to meet you. By the name of Spark, correct? I hope you had a safe journey here. Yeah, I guess you can call it that. <laughs> oh dear. I know you had a hard time. I, I just cannot help but be polite. Go on to the matter at hand. I've been monitoring this chaos since the beginning. Turns out there's emeralds to blame. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am partially to blame. You see, when the Mega Raph was completed, I had an idea. Mega Raph required a guardian of sorts. Oh, it's like Skynet. The initial prototype was quite weak and soft, so it was scrapped. In a way, I think I made it too much like myself. Ho 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 ho! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Self-deprecating humor aside, the final product was perfect. But built on Mega, Mega Raph itself. This goes to show the power of that magnificent structure. However, it had one factor I didn't account for. It made it quite independent. I made it quite independent. My need for him to operate by himself more than backfired. As a result, he developed quite an ideology. I don't know the details, but he's very adamant about it. He even gave himself a name. Freom. 
I believe it to be a reference to the old Earth's culture. It means something cold, very cold, capable of freezing. <laughs> it seems to be an intimidation tactic on his end. Now he resides at the top of Megaref. I believe he is powering himself up for something of tremendous proportions. Something must be done, quick. Alright, I'm on board. Where do I start? Oh, oh, oh. Let me explain. I'm excited for this. <laughs> you notice the fleet of ships up there, right? The military is going up against Freom's forces. But I doubt it is going to end well for them. <laughs> but I doubt it's going to end well for them. <laughs> There's quite a few typos in this game, aren't there? Freom's ships are just too strong. That's why I'm going to go in there as my mech form. And you're coming with me. I'll drop you up in a ship. Then you'll take them down from the inside! Heck yeah! Sounds awesome! Delightful! You should begin as soon as you are ready. So you know, we'll be joining the fight too. But we're going to be down here on the ground. Oh yeah, and after we take over the ships, we will be dropping by Megaraf. This time, to take down Freom for good, and Jester. Regardless if you succeed or not. You'll be met with great financial compensation. However, I feel obligated to mention, the activities you have engaged so far are quite illegal. Oh, oops. <laughs> Do not worry, son. <laughs> I'll make it so this job... that this was a job or sorts. Or sorts? Therefore, I will be handling the legal issues as a responsible authority. Consider yourself hired. <laughs> hired? Look at his eyes. He has oh, a job! His character arc is complete! <laughs> oh, it should, be, it should be that sound effect that you like to do. Wow! I think, that one. Yeah, I think I have it available. Oh my god, look at those see eyes! If I can play it. Oh my god, my stream just caught up, I can see the eyes, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's just like the, it, it's gotta do the sound, come on. I've sent the video to you 12 times, I can send it again. Yeah, oh, I found it. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Indeed. Jester, before you go, there is another... So he just, like... He knows what Spark's name is, but he refuses to use him... To, re to mm. use the name with... <laughs> There's someone in one of those ships. Someone you have already met. Hmm, the Jester robot that took away your previous job. I do not know much about him. I was able to track down some data. His purpose was to pretend to be one of Freon's gooms, goons, goombas, and backstab him once the time was right. Seems he was not successful, or worse, he might just be an enemy. Regardless, you must fight. No talk, only fight. Wait, he said that <laughs> twice. He said the same sentence twice. Regardless, it was for emphasis. you must fight. <laughs> you must fight. Regardless, you <laughs> must fight. Now everyone, prepare for battle. Roger. All right, Jester, let's go. My name's Spark, darn it. Mega Ref Fleet. Oh, this song. This stage has such a good song. I died. <laughs> you you died instantly. What the heck? Oh, you pr <laughs> you died. How? It looked like that was like supposed to be like a scripted like movement he does to get off the thing, and somehow he. He just didn't do it. Could you imagine oh, yeah, if that's just how the game went? Like, oh, Spark <laughs> failed, because... <laughs> when oh, he yeah. jumped off the thing, he messed up. Oh, yeah. The way it jumped off was, like, gave you enough momentum to hit the platform, you just pressed left in mid-air. So you didn't, you, like, <laughs> undershot it. It's kind of it should have just been entirely automated. TBH. How did you die there? <laughs> Whoa. Fast. Oh yeah, the fans! I love the fans! I'm a fan of them. Da -da 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 -da. I thought the fans earlier would be like that, but they weren't, and I was disappointed, but now they're like, Ah! You you didn't think that we'd do that with the fans? Well, we're, we're doing that with the Good fans. Luck your... <laughs> Good luck on your tea quest. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna sample some of the music, just turn this up. Oh god, this song is so good. It's amazing. Very Kirby. Like, it's very Kirby, it's also very Sonic Adventure, if you ask me. And like... Well, I didn't ask you, I feel, so. Well, 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fuck you, Lainini. <laughs> Is that like me, but a panini? No, it's like you, but Luigi, and I'm like, Bissio. Do the Bissio swing your ass from side to side! What, am what amuses me about the word panini is that in Italian that means sandwiches, like plural. Yes. <laughs> that makes sense. I think it was so my... Like <laughs> randomly, it was, it was my math teacher in high school who told me, who told the class that. He, my so math teacher is the reason I know panini means sandwiches. <laughs> so it's like, quote, non bread, right? Which is just bread bread. Yeah. And baguette bread, which is just steak bread. Oh no, baguette non, stick is just steak steak. The non one I learned on Vine Sauce, actually. Somebody told Vinny that because he was talking about having non bread. And he's like, mm -hmm. you know, that just non just means bread. It's bread bread. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of the same way that, like, uh, in America, um, like, a cookie just means a biscuit, but in the UK, a cookie means an American-style biscuit, you know? <laughs> and here, a biscuit means something completely different. Yeah, some kind of weird, disgusting thing. It's, it's like, like a, a crumpet, but savory, and you eat it with potato sauce, which is a thing. I don't know. I, w I like to pretend they don't exist. I anyway. eat them with butter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I, put butter uh, on I, the biscuits. I, I like to pretend they don't exist. <laughs> That's why we have the phrase, well, butter my biscuits. Elena, I like to pretend they don't exist. I don't know if you're picking up what I'm putting <laughs> down here. You can't pretend they I don't exist around me. Elena, I, I swear to God, I'm gonna come f I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna fucking fill your house with fucking pinball bumpers. <laughs> Just like Canadian bacon. <laughs> I somehow managed to miss the oh, word. Oh, somebody uh, invalid just... username says, "What about this game's sequel?" I would like to check that out. Oh yeah, yeah. I after, okay. You know what? Here's the thing, though, Elena. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Actually, no, actually, I'll tell I'll, I'll tell you later when you beat the game. <laughs> yeah. What was I gonna but say? Yeah. Oh yeah. That reminds me of. Uh, I found when I another thing I found when I was cleaning out my room was uh, like a thing from when I was in kindergarten where we had to like. It was like for Mother's Day, and like all the kids had to like, well, first of all, draw a picture of their mom, and then like write something that they like, or write what they liked about their mom, and like what I, <laughs> I was reminded because I wrote that I like that she makes good biscuits, <laughs> <laughs> and like I was noticing like half, like or more than half, like almost all of the things that the kids wrote was like something to do with food that their mom makes that they like. <laughs> I can't believe you turned your mom into biscuits. That's, That's fucking what they, disgusting. <laughs> Apparently, when you're a kindergartner, what you love about your mom is the, is having food made for you by her. <laughs> so <laughs> That's the only you, reason you, you appreciate your mom is for food. So what you're saying is that when you're a toddler, you're basically like a cat and your parent is your owner. <laughs> there was one where uh, he said he liked his mom because uh, she always let him pick what to play on his Game Boy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's other things like that too. Like, oh, she got me like a toy that I liked or something like that. <laughs> it wasn't ever like, oh, I love my mom because she takes care of me and like, and like loves me. And it's like, no, it's because she, okay. she makes me food and buys me things. <laughs> no, but they okay, okay. Literally making you food is taking care oh, of. Oh yeah, you, that's true. Like, you're being cynical here. I just thought it was and funny. And also, like, I feel like a kid can't explain. The emotional nuances. You know, well, it's, I know, it's like, but it's... so that made it kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> it was funny in a cute way. Is what I mean. <laughs> if if, tod if toddlers are pets, does that mean every single parent is John Arbuckle? <laughs> John <laughs> Arbuckle is like the that. gender neutral term for a parent. The same kid who said that he liked his mom let him pick what to play on his Game Boy. Also, I remember, like we had. We had to write a thing, that, like, yeah, we did, like, a thing where you, like, made, like, an apple. Like, like, we used, like, colored paper and made, like, a shape like an apple. And, like, it was, like, it was, like, tissue paper, so, like, the light would go through it, that kind of thing. And then you had to write, you had to write down an apple a day, and then you had to fill in, like, what it does. And I remember that kid wrote, an apple a day is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good kid. 
Also, welcome. <laughs> it was funny not only that he knew what the word abomination was, but that, that he chose to say that's what an apple a day was. <laughs> <laughs> I like this stage. It's a good. It has a yeah, good background. It makes me think of plan. the egg carrier or whatever, you know, Eggman's ship. Got the same color. Oh, you, you never played Sonic Heroes, have you? No, that's one Sonic game this, I have yet to play. This stage is a partial reference to both Sonic Heroes' ending and Sonic Unleashed's opening. <laughs> I haven't played Sonic Which Unleashed either. Oh, you probably should. Sonic Unleashed is pretty good. I'd ram that game down your ravenous undulating. I'd probably do. I'd probably do the Wii version. All about you. Uh, no, play the 360 version. Well, I don't have an Xbox. Play the PlayStation 3 version on your I don't PlayStation, have a PlayStation 4. 3. Well, that, does, that doesn't work. <laughs> PlayStation 4 isn't backwards compatible. Some games are, aren't they? Like no. limited compatible. I think Shiny, Shiny was telling me that the PlayStation 4 is completely different architecture from the PlayStation 3. Oh, they don't even they don't even they don't even let you like have a digital version of some of the games. I could have sworn. They there's a thing like that for PlayStation 2 games. There's some PlayStation 2 games that have been re-released for PlayStation 4. I was looking at those the other day. Okay, so what you do is you turn your mom into biscuits again and then you sell <laughs> them a yard sale. Oh, hey, it's this boss again. The money to buy an Xbox 360, and then you play the Xbox 360 version of Cycle. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm. You know, I'm gonna just not look at any reference to Spark 2 because uh, I haven't been able to play the game yet because my PC is a big pile of stinky garbage. <laughs> that I wasn't fair. Spoiled. The little warning for that was hidden behind the health bar, so I couldn't see it. I thought that was a safe <laughs> spot. <laughs> oh yeah, I had this in bed. I had this in backup. I don't like I don't like them apples. Oh, it's it's okay it's okay in valid username, you didn't know. And I should have said earlier I forgot the game was out. So I was like, I assumed you probably wouldn't know anything. <laughs> Cause I was like, nobody could have played that. I thought it was out. It I thought when you yeah, were showing it, it to me it was like Either it was out or it was like nearing completion. Yeah, it so was I expected out. It would be open now. <laughs> I just assumed my brain just assumed it wasn't out because I haven't played it yet. Because oh. I would have played it if it was out. If my PC worked. Self destruct sequence. Self destruct sequence for you and me. Yeah, this is a ri I love violins in rock. It's a good mix. The rockolin. The via rock. Via Rock sounds like a very interesting Pokemon. <laughs> be I'm like a purple rock. I'm no, I'm okay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Like Violet Rock. That's what yeah, my mind right. thought. Ouch! Oh no, my lance. And I feel like Rockalin oh, no, sounds my lance. like the name of a very my lance is gone. Down, a gym leader. No, I'm gone. <laughs> Symphonic metal. That's the term. Oh, symphonic metal is a lovely combination of words. It just sounds as cool as it is. <laughs> you know the wow clip I've been spamming with Elena. Yeah. Uh, somebody on Twitter was just like, "This is my new alarm clock." <laughs> oh. Are you? I love the wow. Yeah, metal is just a fractal. Ouch. And I cannot tell a lot of the genres apart. TBH. I know the I know the basics. It's all, mostly it's all actually rock and roll in some way. Or just like rock. They're all most music genres, like modern ones, are just kind of subsets of rock in some way. Mm. Is what I have <coughs> learned. We live in a musical mineral world. <laughs> I wish all music genres were just named after materials. Just all of them. Apparently, like, one of the... I don't remember who it was exactly, but I remember something that was kind of funny was that, like, one of the first, like, heavy metal, like, musicians doesn't like the term heavy metal because he doesn't, like... He didn't think it sounds, like, musical enough or whatever. Like, <laughs> he's like, I don't think of it as, like, metal. 
That's a weird thing to say. He didn't think it made it sound like a real like music genre or whatever. Like he felt it was like belittling it or something. Oh, Shan, if you could post that online, I'd look at it using my eyeballs and then interpret the information on it using my brain and then oh, appreciate okay. the fact that you uploaded it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I remember there's like, there's one song. There is a song that's basically just about like all the music being rock. Because it was like, still rock and roll to me. <laughs> Well, okay, I think it's about time somebody makes a genre that isn't rock. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, me. there is plenty of those. But <laughs> no, there's none. I'm inventing the first one that isn't rock. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh dang it, this part's hard. I'm joking, obviously. Yeah, this game has a really fucking good OST, and if I remember correctly, wasn't the Kickstarter for this game just to pay musicians? That's what you were telling me on the stream the other day, or the other time we streamed it. Yeah, so I hope One I was right. Times. <laughs> You're spreading misinformation on my stream, Biss. I'm sorry, Lainey, I'm only fairy. I can only be so perfect. <laughs> I will always make mistakes, and I will never apologize for them on camera. Uh. <laughs> Ouch. This is like, a, it's a shame you don't have like wind I don't like around, because the... wind would be really good for this. Yeah, I don't like the wind that's pushing me here, it's making this harder. <laughs> there, there's some health. I needed that. You s I thought that was like a little smiley face on the wall there, that exclamation mark and then dash D. <laughs> I thought that was colon dash D. That was like a little happy face printed on the wall for Aww. some reason. Oh, thank you, Sean. Oh. Ouch, I got Yeah, shot. we have a very... We have a very distinct chemistry. We've been streaming together for a long time, and I've been annoying her even longer than that. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love just the fact that this is just a Gundam. That guy just looks like a Gundam. He's a Gundam. Gundam, <laughs> Gundam, 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 Gundam. <laughs> Goddamn Gundam. Yeah. How long yeah, this one, this okay, we've hit the two hour mark. Oops. I think when we finish, if. I wonder if this is like. This feels like it could be the last stage. Uh, do you want me to just answer the question? Just answer whether it is or isn't. I was gonna say, I'm gonna stop the stream after this stage, so. Whether this is the end or not, okay. I'm stopping here, so. <laughs> yeah, so this it might like, be this the end, and so then we'd be stopping anyway, but. <laughs> there's, there's a way more to go anyway, so there's enough to justify okay. another stream totally anyway. Gotcha. I'm like, I'm gonna be honest, I might just buy you Spark too. So if we end up completing the game halfway through a stream, you can just go on to the sequel. <laughs> Even though you said you didn't want to experience it vicariously through me playing it. You wanted to play it yourself first. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true, but like, I'm, I don't know if I can, because like, Nintendo was like... We can't have this on our Switch. After yeah, that was, like, we've oh. talked about that every stream because that's so weird to me. Still, we even talked about it on our fan game streams. Every time we talk about like why did Nintendo deny Spark Two? It was really fucking confusing when they did that. And it's also annoying as well because it's like. On like, what pretense I've have they blocked it? <laughs> I think it's just like a weird hegemony thing. Like, if you're a, a, a developer, which is a company and has like a company name and you're all professional, but you make shitty phone shovelware, that's fine. But if you're <laughs> one person in 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 your uncle's dad's dog's basement making the best platformer ever made, then no. Well, also, I mean, Nintendo they let ass. they let like individuals put stuff on there all the time. Like, I know of like of several games that are on Nintendo that were just made by one person like that. And there's probably more that I don't know of because like <laughs> seems like a fairly Wait regular a thing. In fact, they have some games like that on their like indie showcase, where it's it was just, just one that. person. Like, like you know that Untitled Goose game, or yeah. Baba Is You. Yeah, but those are like respected games, you know. <laughs> I think that's part of the problem is that those have perspective. Those have like, like, like Spark isn't celebrated sadly because it isn't like 
I'm it's pretty very sure... hard to sum up the appeal of Spark in like an article. You can't <laughs> make an article that's like describing why Spark is good. Whereas like Untitled Goose Game you can go, funny game of course. Baba's you is just Ouch. interesting. <laughs> no weirdos for sure. Break game. Like I'm, yeah, it's hard to figure out why they would block a game like Spark. This, you know, like <laughs> they let freedom, they was... let freedom planet on there. <laughs> Well, that has prestige. <laughs> That's the thing that annoys me, it's just, it's the prestige. Freedom Planet, everybody's like, oh yeah. I mean, I saw Spark. Percent. I saw Spark has, like, mostly good reviews. And the bad reviews yeah, were kind have... of odd. <laughs> like that one I but showed it you. But it doesn't have prestige. <laughs> like, people like Spark. That... Yeah, but like, pe but, like, people don't, but, like, the people who have played it like it, but it, like, the average person doesn't know of it, and that's the problem. <laughs> More people know of it than know about my games. <laughs> we'll try and get Marshmallow and Fruitland on Switch, and then we'll see if, like, that's anything to do with it. <laughs> well, I don't have the resources to do so, so... Do you think they didn't allow it on the eShop because of the cutscene where Romalo talks about liking butts? <laughs> well, they have, uh, things like Valhalla, with, like, the ones in the title on the Switch. And in fact, they had it in like an official like Nintendo news post. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, Laney makes games, and I attempt to. Yes. Here, I'll link you to him in the chat. Hell yeah! It's time to self-promote. Yeah. Mm, let's do this. See if I can remember the URL. You sure? There's like dashes know, in it. I'm gonna plug my own garbage. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't uploaded this tag in donkey's years. If that was the right URL. Yep, it was. There's my games. Plus, I have another one I'm working on that isn't on there yet. <laughs> I, don't explosion. Have anything, I don't have anything good released, so I'm just gonna upload this. Screenshot this like link to a gif of a thing in progress. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There are my games. Like... Lady okay, makes on, good games. Well, thank you. <laughs> Lady is a good dev, otherwise known as a gev. I, if, if I if I if I had to, if I if I'm gonna be honest, I think the only problem with Elena's games is that there's not enough bananas in them, <laughs> and I keep trying to get yeah, her to bananas, put more bananas there's in. There's bananas in uh, Marshmallow and Fruitland. It's a game about fruit. Of course, bananas were gonna be in there. <laughs> but why aren't the bananas in Pizza Time Explosion? <laughs> I would say because it's, it's like pizza, but I know that that's not an excuse to you. Bananas on pizza are great. And yet you're the gonna... only person I know who's ever done that. <laughs> well, okay, it's like Spark, you know? All the people who review banana on pizza review it positively, but there's no prestige. All the, all the people, which is just you. <laughs> I suppose that's technically oh. true, because all the people is just you. Hell yes, <laughs> Sham. Oh god. Oh, I kind of miss- I, okay. Not miss, but like I have fond memories of um, of the of the like Lazy Town era, the era where that was like that was like the thing that you were like the thing that you oh. shared the joy of with everybody. Be careful, there's a big laser about uh, yeah. <laughs> you were a bit late on that one. <laughs> well, I'm, I've got a stream delay. Also, it's a really nice looking laser. Oh, uh, hot laser. Take, Ouch, it hit me again. The laser in Freedom Planet sucks butt, and uh, the laser in Spark the Electric Jester eats butt, which Spark is slightly have, better. Spark should have a laser ability like Kirby. That's one of my favorite abilities in Kirby, is laser. La oh, I can see laser working, maybe. More of a long distance thing than the rest of these powers. And in Kirby, of course, it always had that thing where it would, like, bounce. Hmm. Around, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that makes sense, Sham. 
I, I, I knew you still liked it. Um, Oops. Oops! Uh oh, SpaghettiO. I do love this big, powerful particle beam, and then you just have like grayscale spark just laying down in the middle of it. <laughs> Above the lighting. Oh, I see. It's beautiful. I couldn't figure out how you'd know when it was about to show up. I notice now that the little things get faster. Oh, yeah. I oh, shit. I should have told you that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know, um. It's something oh, I have God, to do it, a lot in this game is figure out the telegraphs. <laughs> I'm not too it's good at that. The the lazy town talk is making me think. It's interesting how people go through like, like 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 people will have like a, a specific fandom they're big on for like a period of time. Because like at the minute, my thing is I'm kind of getting into Thomas, <laughs> kind of, or like specifically the older stuff, which I think is like legitimately better material. It's been a long time but since like, I've really done that with anything. Like for me, I'm just kind of into video games in general. <laughs> That's okay, it's been honey, for like many what? years now, but it's time for you to become the premier Spark fan. <laughs> <laughs> Do Spark cosplay? I just like to play video games. <laughs> oh my god, Laney, I've got it right. Okay, so you cosplay Spark. I'll cosplay Romalo and comment on your butt while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you you would you would have to say it was good. Oh you fuck, like you're right. There probably is a Thomas theme park, and I'm probably t like. Here's the thing, though. Here's oh. the thing is like. The thing is, is that if I was gonna go to a place a Thomas theme park, I would rather just go to like more of the heritage railways. That's like, because like Wales is full of hell heritage railways. Like, th uh, the place I work, we have like a tourism stand. Literally, a fourth of the leaflets are just for heritage railways, because there's like <laughs> dozens of them. Wales is the land of narrow gate little cute narrow gauge engines chugging through the mountains. Oh, what I wanted to say was I was listening to like a compilation of people saying like their worst experiences with people like working while well, working at like a theme park or a similar place. And yeah. one of them was talking about like a fair they had that was themed towards Thomas the Tank Engine and they yes. were doing a uh, like face painting thing. Yes. And they said there was one kid who wanted his face. This is, this is one thing we don't usually do because it like looks terrifying. But he wanted his face painted to look like Thomas's face. Oh no! And he said normally we don't do that because like it just looks like frightening. And like but like he really wanted it and like the dad like paid him extra to like do it. So I was like okay and then spent like 15 minutes like painting his face to look just like Thomas. And then said so the mom showed up and then was like freaking out and like screaming and yelling because they made her kid look like a demon. Because <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, when you get down to it, is and then they just, just had to be and then they yeah. Yeah, and then they just had to be removed from the like the whole like they had to have security remove them because it was getting so out of hand. And so, it was, <laughs> no. so they were just like cowering, like just like like just shocked that the, like <laughs> that this was happening. And they said, hey, for the record, though, the kid loved it. <laughs> the hey, kid Shan, was happy. If, if you ever come to Wales, number one, hopefully we could say up some as and Ren come as well. But also, if you ever come to Wales, um, I'll show you around as much as Ow. I can. Unfortunately, like, if you come, though, we need to plan a lot of stuff in advance. Because, like, it, transport here is really bad if you don't have a car. So you have to have, like, a game plan when you come in. For like buses and where you're gonna stay in certain places and whether you can like whether you know anybody who has a car it's just a, it, you need a lot of pre-planning i had like maz and ren come over one time and like we didn't do any pre-planning and it was kind of like we had fun but we didn't do as much stuff as we could have done also that hammer produces just just orb balls balls <laughs> ouch that doesn't avoid me hey. From getting hit hey, by those. Yes. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you can you go can you on twitter.com draw your balls 3D sona? <laughs> Just makes me think of that one thing you did of the the implicit surface <laughs> game character. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this. Let me see if I can find this. Also, no. Those I can't find that. Those little, those little, uh, 
orange things that flash like that. I like the effect that they do. Like, just sort of the shape that, like, they start as a circle and then turn into a square. Just like that it animation. Is quite nice. I want to make something oh. like that for one of my. I want to find an excuse to have a little thing like that in one of my games. Hell yeah. Lainey. Yes. Lainey, you, you just jumped into the beam. Oh, yeah, Lainey! Hmm? This is better than Freedom Plant. Sorry, I just remembered that. <laughs> I just had to remind you. <laughs> this is my soap. Freedom Plant is hella overrated, and this is a far better game. And that's my soapbox. <laughs> oh! <Aww. laughs> I'm gonna be honest. The mental image of you just stood in front of a wall for a week staring at it is like kind of sad. I think we might have to call this good here soon. Like this level's mm. going on longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Yeah. Hey Shan, if you all stare at a wall, this one in front of me is like a sick Kirby poster I got from fangamer.net. So that's by default the best wall in the country. Such a good poster. It's like a poster based off of Return of Man. Oh, no, he, oh I got an extra hit on him before the cutscene even started. <laughs> oh, hell yes, honey. Why? Pro strats, Why are MLG. You here? Super Why did game. You not listen to me. <gasps> yeah, you are here. Doesn't matter. Oh my god. Oh mission. my god, Fark. And I will not fail. Out of my way, Jester. Whoa. Also, when you said beam earlier, I just had this random memory of Psychonauts and this one boss where he just goes, Particle Beam! And like some other things all the time when he does his attacks. <laughs> I had oh random Psychonauts memory. Just from you saying oh the word beam. <laughs> Oh my god, Ash is alive! Hello Ash, how you doing? Hey Ash. I got Your blocked by the Automod. <laughs> you might want to fix that. Just... Can you click on that for me, Vis? Here you go. Yeah, I already did that. Okay, I guess, right. it's just, I guess it's just slow for me. Again. Ash, you came here just in time to watch Elena fight the, the person who made Spark redundant at his job. If I lose in this battle, I don't think I'm gonna try it again on this stream. We'll save that for next time. I love the song that plays during this fight, and also the fact that like fire yeah, moves I'm gonna... faster than you can see. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oops, wrong button. Oh god, this is a good fucking fight. I'm gonna scram. Scram Lazar. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, in the background, in the background, you can see Earth as well. Dang. Hey, I did it. You did. did. Oh yeah, it's kind of Sonic XE. I need to watch Sonic X series three. I never did. Do people still live on Earth? Uh, mate, I don't know. It's I mean, it blue. looks like, and it's got like lights of, of like cities there. You can see. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe that's just where humans live and bug people live on the moon. <laughs> maybe that's just how it be on this scrong inch of an earth. I mean, on a moon. <laughs> I was just about to say you mean on this scrong inch of a moon. No music. Oh my god, it's Christmas tree land! I love this! I love the, I love the Christmas tree All land. Quiet it makes now. me so happy. Just it's, it gives you time Excuse to me. digest the what's sparks happened. Sparks just go on for a stroll. You, you say what now, Ash? When we get to another save point, we'll stop. That's a very mean thing to call Cosmo. She's a talking and thinking plant, thank you. That makes it okay. <laughs> Aww! I'm glad you enjoyed it, Sham. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, it's canon! Yeah, we wouldn't, not, is a we wouldn't mind having here having you here more often. You can always use viewers. Oh my god! Oh my god, Elena. Speaking of Sonic X Series Three, can I tell you something? What? And I can use <gasps> okay, so... uh, subscribers as well, of course. I gotta plug that. <laughs> okay, so in Sonic X Series Three, right? There's an entire episode revolving around like this, this, this fighter pilot in like an alien war, right? And she's like mm -hmm. a teenager. And she's like a child soldier, and she's a fighter pilot. 
and you know, it's it's presented a kids anime, but you know. So, um, Hope that was it's, a it's because it's because it's war conflict that's going on this planet, right? Okay. Um, but this fighter pilot dies, right? Kind of <laughs> tragically, and they He's have dead. like scenes of yeah, dead that get shot down, and they have scenes devoted <laughs> to Shadow mourning her death and stuff, right? And being sad that somebody young and innocent had to lose their life, right? Mm -hmm. Um, in the dub, what four kids did to remove the death? What? Instead of facing the enemy and dying, she instead decides to fly away off planet forever randomly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She just goes, just, just gone. goodbye, I gotta go. <laughs> and then Shadow is just sad that she decides to leave for no reason. <laughs> and the scene where before he was like drinking away his misery in a bar, they edit the beer to look like orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like it's like it's like when they made the the sushi in Pokemon. They called it a jelly donut. Oh god, damn it! I hate that because I know who the fuck is fooled. <laughs> Small I hate babies. Four kids is like in four kids and their fucking sick, disgusting CEO is like kind of a microcosm of toxic American culture. The bad part of it. <laughs> We can't let kids know other countries exist. We can't let them know death exists. We can't let them know that fucking cabbage aliens exists. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't. I currently have no subscribers, so that's why I gotta keep being like. Let's get some subscribers. Popcorn balls. <laughs> Excuse my ass, popcorn balls? At least that's makes what some rice sense. is. <laughs> Popcorn, same thing. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Can you imagine <laughs> if you went to a cinema and ordered some popcorn and they just give you a tub of rice with <laughs> butter on it? Can't let them know the other rice exists. Like, comment, and subscribe, and also <laughs> hit the notification bell. Donate to Elena on Patreon. Says, Donate yeah, to one. our Kickstarter. I don't have that. Sign up for our RSS feed and email newsletter. <laughs> we also have a snail mess a snail mail newsletter. Also, you can give us, you can add us on Snapchat. The funny thing about also, the term snail we mail, we have a Skype. Is that I'd never heard that term used to mean like the mail. I just there was a game I played when I was younger called Snail Mail, mm -hmm. which was about a snail going like really really fast delivering mail. <laughs> it's like a rocket powered snail that delivers the mail. It's you know what? What Ash said is right. Ash, what's that? Ash says, right, you have to use your ass to hit the follow button. If you don't, <laughs> you've fucking disgraced us. That's the only valid way. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. This is a good stream. Oh, thank you for being um, here, everybody. I love you all. <laughs> As I said uh, at the end of my the story about my uncle's stream, uh, Thursday is going to be hopefully the ending of that game and Enter the Gungeon. And whenever Biss wants to, we'll do more of this. And whenever we can get Biss and Cassie together, we'll do more of my Undertale playthrough. That's my schedule. Oh. And when Spark is see over, I'm going to start on Sonic CD. See you, Shan. See you in, see you in <laughs> valid username. Uh, Ash, I might see you, or you might send me a shit post within five minutes on Discord. <laughs> or the other. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the stream. Come watch me play some more stuff. <laughs> Bye. Also, also, oh, also, watch the vod of this video if you want to see my amazing game theory. I, <laughs> I said we're in the first thirty seconds of the broadcast. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll do Spark Two eventually. I might just try and play it myself first before doing the like playthrough of Elena. Yep, we want to stream that at some point. <laughs> also, I just accidentally turned on my PS4, just trying to move the controller. Oh, quick, put <laughs> Nero Automata into it. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.